Some of the same chicks. I don't know. That's neither here nor there. But yo, my man walks in the spot, right? Orders 300 steaks. I made the mistake of telling them that everything was on me this night. I'm doing good. I got lean back. I got, I got the song cracking with Wheezy and all, so I'm good. I had like four niggas with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fucked with Fat Joe stories, man. I gotta do something. He talked about us a little bit when we hosted the BT Award. I know, next right? Day. You know what I'm saying? Fat Joe yesterday's price is not today's price. They need to put that on the gas stations. Mm. That is hilarious. For real, they need to put that shit on the gas stations, nigga. I just had a brilliant idea. It's five eighty nine in L.A. I want a store that only sells shit that they're they about to stop selling on purpose. That's brilliant. I thought you rolled it with that in it. I'm like, nigga, what? You got a weed secret. Put a clubhouse. How much is the gas here? Club. Shit, it depends on where you go. It's five eighty nine in L.A. No, it ain't no five. I just was out there. About four for ninety three. Yeah, I, I just was out there. Dollars. Gas costs more than a Happy Meal. I'm yeah, right there. Easily. About to be six. Yeah, I like when the gas prices go up. Cause yeah. motherfuckers start staying home. <laughs> <laughs> they about to start talking back train. on the phone. I right, when the last time you been in a real life trap house? Um, when I was in Miami the last time, you know, I come from a nothing but people who are, have alternative businesses. I was watching Fighting Words. Mm-hmm. I love the story about your stepdaddy getting beat up. <laughs> that is great. That was on Netflix. That's not on Fighting Words. Oh, see. What's the, okay. See, I didn't watch them all. That's They Ready. They Ready. He got his ass beat in the rain. In the rain? It was raining. And you I didn't I didn't want to, because that's my brother's father, so I let him live. But my mother is the one who who came and got him and rescued him from oh. the fight. Getting beat up in the rain, man. That shit's slippery, too. Got his ass beat in the rain. <laughs> that's the only defense you could have said after that. You get your ass whooped in front of your kids in the rain. You got to live and die by it. If it wouldn't have been raining, I'd have whooped your ass. I would have whooped that nigga's ass. And you know that. Man. Cap. The rain fucked me up, man. You can't see shit. It was raining hard the motherfucker. Every time you tell the story, you got to increase the rain. <laughs> by 20%. Goddamn flood. Where the fuck BC go? He's fighting it waist deep. Nigga probably shitting that piece out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put him on blast like that. Well, maybe he is. What well, has been going on out of LA besides high ass gas? Um, I haven't been there, but. You been on the road and shit. Huh? Mm-hmm. You blowing up. Just like I told you you would. Yeah, there's more activity elsewhere, right? I told Especially you first. You right now. I told you in advance. Oh, I told you in that limo. What you told? We had a long talk. I had to save me from going crazy on them folks in the light of time. Where? We had a different Last plan. Last time we standing. For real. We had a different plan. Yep. What you mean? We weren't. We just weren't there for that. They don't understand that shit though. Do you know how many people like me just won? I was like, hey, you don't kind of get how it goes. Mm -mm. Right. We was really on Survivor that year. Yeah, we were. <laughs> Y'all had challenges. Oh, yeah. it was trash. Right, Y'all had much. challenges. I was they so, don't even know how much shit. I, was, I we hated it and then we didn't even have it. They had this bullshit where you had to pick who you... You had to vote. Yeah. And we never... He never turned on me, but them them three crackers on that show, they... Carlos they came back to me. Oh, it was... I remember that. Hell no. I remember that. I was through playing that shit. I was like, okay, Carlos. We got to the point where we wanted to go. And this guy, I was like, bro, it don't matter what the fuck I do out here. These niggas are already, he got a whole commercial. Mm -hmm. He got a whole commercial. Who you? All right. right. 
And they kept, he kept telling us Lost too, remember? Lost a nigga from the gecko ad. Nigga! Ain't no, there is no question about that type of shit. How you gonna beat the nigga with a commercial? Right. He already got a network deal. <laughs> ain't beat these motherfuckers. Yeah, that's why Let me I go bad. ahead and get the fuck out of here, cause this shit better get treacherous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck the last challenge gonna be. All right, you want it bad enough? Stab one of your castmates. <laughs> There are four of you left. There are three knives on the table. <laughs> That's where we were. How bad do you want it? <laughs> you hear the bell. That is how bad. Show what you know. Uh -uh. We're gonna we're gonna pick numbers for knives. Each knife has a number on the back of it. I'm not bad. Man. You're the most successful right. person of that season. Say it loud. I don't know if you the mic picked that shit up. <laughs> you are. Well, well. He's the most successful person from our season. Don't yeah. nobody know who Rodman is anymore. Like he didn't get anything from Ooh. there. Yes, he did. Yeah. Be good, ain't he? Thought Rodman was good. I thought he, I mean, he was still on the road. Rod. He's still man. doing it. Rod That's man. what he wanted. Rodman. Yeah. That's what won your season. Yeah. Rodman. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He good. I I'm thought, not saying that he's bad. I'm just saying that out of that season, yeah. regardless of who was one, two, three, four, five, you were more successful than all of them. Nobody knows who Jimmy Schubert is. Nobody knows who DC I is. I wonder where the fuck Jimmy yeah. Schubert is. He's on the He's on the Greensboro. Oh, man. Yeah. Shout out to all them comics yeah, who auditioned man. for okay. Last Comics. And wait, let me finish. You don't know what I'm about to say. And went up there and said all this shit. Now you're down the band. <laughs> You should have seen that shit. Like the first round, we had a hundred motherfuckers. Oh my goodness. Man, they were saying the most outlandish shit you could think of. Give me an example. Just shock humor. Okay. I can't even repeat shit this shit. Shit that get you canceled. Shit that would definitely get you canceled. And this was their whole shit. Mm -hmm. Was to make the crowd go, oh my God. That's crazy. The guy that um, got into it with Roseanne, he told Russell he was a hack. Remember that? Yep. Yeah. What? Russell yeah. Peters. Oh, I man. think I remember that. Oh, they judges? They oh, showed a few it. of those comedians. Yeah, I remember again. that. A few of them cussed the judges out. Yeah. A few yeah, of them just walked sure. off and was like, you don't know shit about them fucking comedy. Mm -hmm. Oh, really, Roseanne? They were mad. Yeah, they were. <laughs> they were. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck do you know about stand up? Exactly. I know, kid. 300! Look, I'm, I'm, I'm booked, man. I'm in Omaha next week. I don't fucking need to be here. Yeah. Wow. Comedy game treacherous, dog. I'm telling you. Yeah. Oh, dog. That was some very entertaining shit, though, man. I just hate that a lot of that shit didn't even come out. Little challenges and shit they was waking us up to do all day. Oh, for real? Oh, oh man. man! This challenge is last comic standing, but you're gonna have to sit down the entire time. Mm. Nigga, we went. We woke up one morning and went to Universal Studios and rode the fucking rides. As a challenge? Yeah. The the Scooby Doo van. What was that? The mystery machine. But it was like dumb early, like where it wasn't fun, right? Yeah, it was like. <laughs> After a while, it just wasn't funny. Six in the morning. Yeah, the shit whole like thing that. wasn't fun anymore. Nigga, you ever woke up with JB Smooth in your room telling jokes? <laughs> you said what? You ever woke up with JB Smooth busting in your room telling jokes? Oh, hell no. And he would bust in the door. Like, he would just bust in the door. Yeah. He was the host, yo. Because y'all had Anthony you had to leave your door unlocked yeah. with JB Smooth, nigga. Uh, they got a key. <laughs> <laughs> That's one motherfucker, boy. That's a wake up call. That's crazy. That nigga JB Smooth got a key to your hotel room. Then you in there sleep. That nigga he goes in there tripping. Jokes. That was his thing. Like every every single time we had, especially when they were eliminating people, he would just bust in the door, just to make us more anxious. That's his whole thing. He would slide in the room. It was say some shit and walk off. It'd be some <laughs> incomplete shit though. Oh, tonight comics. Yes. You might fry some fish. <laughs> She ain't gonna eat no chicken. Yeah. <laughs> and that bull. <laughs> all right, I had to tell the truth, though. Out of all of that shit, what's funnier than watching JV Smooth read off the prompter? Oh! <laughs> 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 I 
Yes, sir. Nigga, we would be in there there forever. There was a pause. We would do a sentence and pause. Sentence. <laughs> Why you doing it, man? She can do it. Oh, that's up, bro. Spaghetti and meatballs. Potato <laughs> soup. These are all things. The comedians eat on the road. <laughs> but tonight, doing the voice, man. we're going to make rope. <laughs> rope. Take it from the top. Uh, uh, Chicken uh, tomatoes. Uh, Spaghetti uh, salad. Baked potatoes. Baked potatoes. Man, we used to be in that bitch crying last year. That's some of the most fun I ever had, though, man. <laughs> Chicken potatoes. Rice and salad. <laughs> But JB Smooth funny as hell. Uh, yeah, shit. Uh, yeah, he might buy some fish. He, he might buy some fish. I'm going to drink them chicken tonight. Comedians, mm. oh. you left one left. But tonight, one of your asses is going home. <laughs> I don't give a damn. It's not like you're chewing on your tongue when you're talking. That's how you talk. You sound just oh, like Give a damn. You're going home tonight. Somebody take me back ass home. Or wipe the ass. Or somebody's ass going home. That's it. Don't matter about the color of the ass. Don't matter about the color of the ass. Oh. One of these asses won't be here tomorrow. My oh. black ass to be here. But one of you asses, one of those asses, <laughs> is going to be sent home. That is for him. Tonight. Oh, shit. Bro, that shit used to be crazy because they used to, when people got eliminated, they used to make you go shoot your scene. Like you had to go to your room, pack all your shit, and then fake like you leaving, and then go back upstairs. You remember that shit? They were doing y'all like the fucking uh, uh, hard knocks off the NFL. (laughs) When you get eliminated, you got to go pack all your shit. They they, make you think you really leaving. And you go to a a psychiatrist. Did they do that to y'all? Yeah, they make you go to therapy. When you get eliminated, you go in a room, and it's a psychiatrist. And the psychiatrist is like, are you okay? Why? You might kill yourself because you lost. I won, but I ain't never go. I wanted to go and see somebody anyway. I needed some therapy. No, but I'm saying. I ain't saying know that. what the fuck to do. My children negative. I didn't make it. I didn't make it. They didn't even tell us though. It was. It's the end of the world. Yeah. 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 Y
Augusta, Georgia. We gonna be at the James Brown Arena, man. Y'all don't wanna miss it, man. The return of the ghetto legends. So please, please, get your tickets at the 85southshow.com right now. You don't wanna miss Augusta, Georgia, July 7th. Be there. Please, don't meet me there. Beat me there. You did. <laughs> Balls in your face. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And we outside this summer. Y'all know what time it is. It's tour time. I'm so excited for the tour. And we are going to the number one and number two requested places that everybody been asking us to go. Mm -hmm. And you already know who on the list first, Atlanta. Atlanta, Houston, Dallas, mm -hmm. Columbia, mm -hmm. Birmingham, Chicago, New York. Y'all, we are outside. When I tell y'all this show, we have a lot of special guests coming. Yep. Y'all just gonna be blown away. It's gonna be so much fun. Let me tell y'all how you know when you're drunk. It'll you make you oily. Not only that, but if you start talking like Dre. <laughs> So make sure y'all get your tickets right now. Go to poorminds.com. Y'all don't want to miss out. And you never know, we might add some more dates. Mm -hmm. Oh, we definitely going to add some more dates So now. let us know if it's a city that we missing that y'all want us to come to. Mm -hmm. And y'all know they going to sell out, so don't be asking us, oh, when y'all going to come back? Get y'all tickets right now. Right poorminds.com. We'll see y'all this summer. Link in the bio. No, low key, they said y'all did. Y'all made enough noise the way y'all got people paid. Bro. I wonder who that was. No, they didn't. Was you. <laughs> First thing I do is act a fool about my check. That just anybody in the game who know that. So what happened? What happened? They man? told they, what did they tell you? They were going to send you money? You'll get what your happened? money three months from now. <laughs> you told them, folks, not, not, not Mississippi Law. Hey, when I got through talking to them people, what they say? Everyone, could you come downstairs and get yeah. your per diem? Yep. Yeah, they went and got them envelopes and had that lady right there make you sign your name. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about this. The first couple of times it was some money in an the envelope. Then they got it was before they even had the checks for this shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My shit was way better. I, I mean, he would told me all the shit too, and I was like, Amen. damn, like. So that was boot camp before y'all got but there. But once I got there, once like I was like, oh. But that's I the reason they got shit together. Right. Man, you had the, you know, the contract know. was so crazy, right? Mm -hmm. They felt like, okay, since you own this show, you can't go work none of these other shows in this in LA. Yeah. This is where all the comedy is. No give a fuck who you were, why even if you about to go home, you still can't do this shit for about three weeks after that. Mm -hmm. You can't it was no all kind of shit club, in there. No net. No nothing. So it's like, even, all right, they want you to stay out here as long as you're on the show, right? Right. But they're not going to pay you till you leave. Mm -hmm. You living in the hotel. This ain't no cheap ass hotel. They done already. These comedians now, right. they want $500 every week for a deposit. Right. So when they get your card number, it's a $500 hold, then a $500 deposit. Then another $500. They didn't tell you that it's a $1,000 a week, damn near to just. For your security deposit, you ain't paying for the room, though. And how long is the competition? Okay. As long yeah, as you man. stay there. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Shout out to that somebody that ain't paid for the room. <clears throat> they room paid for. This the security. They oh, paying for your room. Oh, yeah. You, you need your incidental, incidental fee. Incidental. They got incidental fee. You got a thousand dollar incidental fee. Two thousand. Because maybe if you no, you stay there. It's five hundred dollars every couple. It's a five hundred dollar hole, right? But if you stay there another week, it's another five hundred dollar hole. Right. So it's like by the time they release, and then you know this shit can be from seven to thirty days. Yeah. Right. yeah. Business days too. And you got credit card. Hey, my boy. Yeah, I knew. Man. <laughs> I need my per diem. Hey man, it's just so much fine print in this industry that don't nobody mm -hmm. mention, man. Like, it was abusive. It was abusive. <clears throat> and then they just, it's so many motherfuckers that they just like, okay, somebody can be next. It's right. like, and then it's, it's like, you. <laughs> hey, somebody can be next shit, don't scare nobody. Hey, hey, no, shut that's up. the thing about it. But y'all did full play reality. They don't even do reality shows like that no it more, do. really. People will change. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Some people put y'all in the house. Whatever they sold them on, well, they actually be believing that shit. Challenge. Uh -huh. Well, they didn't put us in the house. Okay. But y'all had to do challenges every day. Yeah, we had to turn on each other. You had to be teams. He said it turned into Survivor. It did was. Ma'am. I ain't exactly. gonna say who it was, but we got a whole motherfucker who literally lost they whole house trying to do this <laughs> shit. Motherfucker ain't no home to go to. They done got put out. Damn. Trying to do this crazy ass shit. 
It was that thousand dollars. That was the last thousand dollars, and they got that shit put on. They the had head. Con- they had conspiracies going like. Oh, was there was three of them going on. They were trying to turn on us, talking about. Man, they were figuring the out color, what they could do to, to fucking turn, to make a TV show of instead of making drama. A, oh, to make, instead of y'all being on a competition show, is fuck that. Let's have comedians go at it. Yeah, those are real. Producers. The first reality comedian TV the show. They help, Google this shit. Help me. I, I got you. Then look, you look out for me. I want. I look out for you. They were turning on it, comedy. and they tried to get him to turn on me. And he uh, he was on camera. He said, "I ain't turning on her. That's my." baby that that's the quote he never turned on me they were they were like we got to get rid of the black people because uh, minorities are in and a black person is going to win that's if what we they said it. yes it was bad they were like Boy, to, hey, man, man do some jokes was, and they were 20 they have been doing stand up for 25 do years some jokes. Each. i know but that's so, when you get so much that you trying to be strategic when all you got to do in this motherfucker is be funny in front of a motherfucking audience but, i knew Man, when motherfuckers like, I got, I'm booked. I'm booked. Everybody was saying that shit on the show I was on. I was Man, like, it was, I'm it was like right. this though. It was I'm like, okay, we shoot a segment, right? Then everybody supposed to do an interview, right? You remember? Mm-hmm. Everybody supposed to do an interview. So, say for instance, they're like, all right, I had to go do her interview. Y'all go, y'all go, and they'll just ride you around or some shit for an hour. And they like, ain't no fucking way they still doing this interview. Then they'll bring another motherfucker. And they might be up there for two hours. So now you've been in this van. It's dark in the motherfucker. And then they're just like, mm-hmm. all right, send them back to the hotel. So it's what like, what the fuck? What is this? And then you like, how the fuck every time they go do the interview is two hours? Yeah. You go do your shit. You, they might ask you one question. How you feel about the shit? You had fun? All right, we'll see you tomorrow, man. You out. Early day for you, huh? Yep. Then you get back to the hotel. These motherfuckers come in at two, 2 and 3 o'clock in the morning talking about, man, we had to shoot that other part. What other part? What is y'all, what oh, are they doing? Y'all probably doing it tomorrow. Drama. <laughs> they was a squid game. So they were like, y'all gonna act like it's a competition. <laughs> but this is a real comedy. No, bro, I'm telling you, it's like, some <laughs> like, so motherfuckers is really on the competition. Yeah. These other motherfuckers, they done cut a sad deal with G Money. Right. They're a reality show. They do the reality show part. Mm, that's why. Oh. That's why it's. I hope you got the jets. Mm-hmm. <coughs> oh man, Bruh, These motherfuckers might be doing a. They got a whole nother thing set up just for them. This whole day about them. Everything else just. Yep. Damn. That's the industry for your ass, but Double read that in. fine print. But the way they can cut this shit up. Right. To make it look like it's a real competition. They made me the they made me the bad person because the white the white dude said I was the Omarosa. Damn. Of, just because I backed him up off me, I was not. Did I start anything? I just was not about to let the hey white man. man just what he was trying to do? He was, just, you, you, off, he was trying to boss us all around. We had to do these sketches. He just became our boss. Right. And he was trying to tell us what to do. He was disrespectful. It'll with been his, one of them days. Yeah, but every time the camera he goes off, every time they cut the camera off, this motherfucker. I'm, I'm just like, I'm sorry, man. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I don't, I'm not. Bro, it's just you don't understand, man. It's like. But they went. Then they start telling some weird, random ass story to try to get like sympathy, like. But wait, like wait, when wait. I was five, my like my dad. Did they even? Did they add that? My shit? dad pushed me off no, a boat. They wouldn't. But when he was on camera, what would what would he, he say? Your dad pushed him off a boat. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm probably just gonna win because I'm a better comedian That's than all camera. of you guys. That's what you were saying to us. It's like, I don't even understand why you guys are like on here. Yep. Because it's like. My type of comedy is so smart. Yep. If people don't like it, they're just dumb. Yeah. Oh, yes. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> I was like, shut your ass up, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> you will see. Yeah. It's okay. I'm smarter than you anyway. Yeah, man. And still lost. Still lost. Still, still lost. Bad, I want to see what he said when he got well, eliminated. I These guys are just assholes. They don't know what the reality is in front of them. You guys are stupid. Man, other motherfuckers be on there like, saying now, oh, oh it's well, I just, of and I love inclusion. the comedy and the camaraderie of the comedy game. And then them. as soon as that motherfucker be by himself, I can't stand these people. I think every last one of them are just, I think they're terrible. Mm-hmm. So this was the first reality TV show ever. That no, did. this is this is yeah. They aired it. Yes, they did. Oh, this was on TV. They didn't air all the drama, but they aired the show. That's what I'm saying. They aired, they tried to get like 
they want to do some shit, they'll find whatever piss you off and try to make a whole day about yeah. that just so they can get your reaction to it. Right. The devil. Right. Like when I, when they found out I didn't like to eat certain certain shit. That's all they was putting in front of you? That's all they gave me. I was just ordering food every day. Like, <laughs> I ain't, I didn't eat none of this shit. They were giving it to you every time <laughs> you said you ain't want that. We would come to that bitch, it would be stuffed mushrooms. Ugh. With bell peppers Keesh. and onions in that bitch. Yeah, like quiche like, salad. Like, bro, who finna eat this shit and sit outside all day? I used to ask them shit like that. Uh, <laughs> Carlos, you should eat today. Why? Because we're having chicken. What the fuck that mean? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, 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 dude, 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 dude. You should then eat today. We're having chicken. Then the fucking, I will tell you, then the next thing you know, these motherfuckers have sent somebody over there. Carlos, come here, bro. Yep. Uh, is everything cool? You and Chris? <laughs> 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 he said you totally chewed him out today. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it's like, is it cool if I bring Chris over here? Yeah. Cause Chris, come here, bro. Uh, yeah. Should we Carlos have some thing earlier? Is there anything you want to say to him? Is there anything you want to say? Yeah. So if we do this show, nothing's gonna happen. Good. All right, good. You're like that, Jerry. Could you now? Yeah. And then they'll leave yeah. and come back ten minutes later. Um, Carlos, <laughs> listen. Can you sign this? Just saying <laughs> that you. That you're cool with working with Chris. Yep. I'm not signing that. Cool, cool. I feel you, bro. I feel mm-hmm. you. Go upstairs, get the lawyer and shit. Carlos, bro, mm-hmm. we can't let you film anything else until you sign. Bro, it's just, it's, it's them, bro. Like, it's them, bro. You know, I know. <laughs> it's bullshit. <laughs> 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 yeah. But she was t- she was there. I could come on that bitch and not say nothing all day. Yep, he was there. They quiet. still go- Hey man, mm. Carlos, like <laughs> on camera, your energy is really low. Yeah. It's really yeah. low. <laughs> really so really it's low. motherfuckers are coming and I'm telling you, every day it was something. Carlos, come here. Catch you. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> Your hoodie, your hoodie is You're so dark on camera. Yeah. Could we get you to put like, can we get you to put this on? Yeah. Regular ass shit with nothing on it. These motherfuckers that went shopping for everybody before the night before. Just hey, I'm walking my shit. It's literally aisles of new shit. Gucci and Prada and the, this shit got. Nigga, my rack, literally, this is part of the co Oh, that part, the Gucci and Prada was for JB, though. You remember this shit? <laughs> they had some oh, real yeah, shit for us. Oh, yeah, Bro, they had that for y'all. Nah. Man. And then, then when we bought our own clothes, they'd be like, you, you sure you want to wear that? Every time they, you bought your own clothes, they were yeah. like, yeah. But we're, tonight for the setting, it'll work, but we may have to dye it green. <laughs> <laughs> so we may it have to dye it. <laughs> no, sir. We just, People don't understand, I'm sick. But, uh, but do you understand, my, like, all these minor inconveniences will really make you just be like, build up and fuck this up. shit. You know what, I gotta see it. Somebody gotta see it. Those reality producers are the devil. They are the oh, devil. Why I, I don't fuck with no, what it is, pizza? Pizza. I'm telling you. <laughs> that who you see but no matter who was on that bitch, every day somebody got their day to be the fucking victim. And you know what they did to me? What's so that? they took my set and cut it up, cut it up to like a minute and a half, and they would air it. And I made it to the top ten. So everybody was like, she made it to the top ten on this bullshit? Because they would not air my whole set. Mm. It was really fucked up. tried to make it look like they, you why know, you yeah, why, why did they show your whole set? They just, they ain't getting no reason. Set the narrative that no they just reason. let You don't people. understand. That's the shit I hate. This they don't, the they thing do about shit, it. It's no they reason They have their people. Bro. But we, they you talking about You talking about They don't even give a fuck about us. They have their people who is just... Whatever they say is just, it's just TV magic. Right. Yep. They're going to play their whole time. They're going to get them motherfuckers in the dressing room. I'm so nervous. I don't know what to do. But this is that, the whole episode. That so when they, by cool. the time they fucking do this shit, man, they was doing some wild shit on there. They was using other people's laughs for other people's jokes and shit. Yes. Oh. Yes. 
That's that crazy. crazy. But then, then you, know that, you know that one that laugh. Tweeting me, asking me if um, I fucked Keenan Ivory Wayans, because Keenan Ivory Wayans was like, come back to me. He, he basically hit on me on camera. They put that shit on me, though, and I was like, You know the craziest shit for me, though? My, the one out of everything that happened, craziest shit, though. That shit when Roseanne was talking about me with the weed. Oh, yeah. Then we went to that fucking rap party, right? Oh, shoot. <laughs> we went to the rap party. Roseanne pulled up on me with the biggest bag of weed. It was like, roll us up something, champ. Mm. <laughs> well, I'm just, just not running. Game. But it had her on, on camera looking like this. It's like crazy, though, because right Same. after that shit, that's where all that racist shit happened with her. Yeah. Oh, let's do this. Welcome back to the 85 Sound Show. Yeah. Man, we got a very special guest in the house with us today. We got a very funny lady, man. This has been oh, one of my great friends since shit. What year was that? 2014. Come since on. at least. Yeah. yeah. Very funny lady. She got about all kind of comedy specials out and shit. Fighting words. Come Tiffany on. Haddish. She Come ready. On. Uh, Come on. Mastery of comedy with Mastery you. of comedy. I'm on there too. You got all kind of project, uh, projects and shit out here. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Ida Rodriguez. Ida Rodriguez. Ida Rodriguez. Ida Rodriguez. <laughs> Welcome to the trap. We need you. You in here with the hood today? Yeah. Uh, you scrape. That's pistol. so funny. It's so funny because you know where I come from? Yeah. Where? Miami. Mm. What yeah. part? Liberty City. Liberty City? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I grew up in the central part of Miami. My mom lives in Liberty City. I grew up between Liberty, Liberty City and Overtown. Oh, okay. So when people I thought you were going to say something like pork and beans, but... Well, the pork and beans yeah. are in Liberty City. See, Liberty that's City. what I'm saying, but... Hey. I didn't live there, though. No. I lived in a, a regular building, okay. but it might as well have been. It was an right. R&B group right. called right. Liberty right. City Welfare back in the day. Came. I used to rock with them niggas. <laughs> Who? There's an R&B group called Liberty City back in the day. Oh, they was yeah. from down there. Uh, they got a song called Who You Loving Now. That mm -hmm. shit, damn. You know what I'm talking about? She go out. She music. No, back then. Uh -huh. No, he was singing Aunt Quiet earlier. He was singing mm -hmm. um, one of the hood, 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 hood girls that, before. That boy there is, is musically inclined. Yeah, he <laughs> I will always be there for you. That uh, the song they sample, uh, the Yeah Yang Twin sample with a, a bedroom, bar, bedroom boom. boom. Mm -hmm. no, yeah. mm -hmm. How the hell you be finding all that music? I just be listening. That shit crazy. That's it. It's listening. I'm, I'm, I caught a contact high. Oh, right. oh, oh wow. I've been here for a while. Bro, who keychain yeah, is? Where's your keychain? Where's your old nigga, man? No, I got so many cars I'd never be able to figure out. Boy, that keychain right there, boy, that, 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 that was my first keychain. It was in life. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that number one motherfucker? Yeah. Hey, you chew on that motherfucker there, man. Like, huh? I got too many cars. I can never figure out which keys go to what. Go to what? Chico got the biggest motherfucking truck. Who? This nigga truck. Stupid, this nigga is extravagant with his car. He be acting like he don't get called. You got a Ram, right? What you got? Yeah, fifteen hundred. Learn me. Which that one? Not the, big you got the. Uh, I, I love those. You guys. got the. Uh, the, it's a, the, the T Red Momo. Yeah, it's, it's big like that. He got a big ass. So truck, I, I got a question for y'all. Okay. When I was coming here, everybody was like, "Be careful." Atlanta is dangerous. It is. It they is. Rock, everywhere is dangerous. Right. You they following LA. people they home in LA. LA. Atlanta got yeah. petty yeah. crime, though. Right. Mel Mel no, they robbing people. Motherfucker, they hunt you up people. and unbraid your hair. Like Shit like that. Right. <laughs> no, they're robbing people on Melrose. They, they said Melrose. They Melrose. like Beverly Hills yeah. to me. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Atlanta got a lot of inconvenient ass crime. Car breaking ass, breaking windows. Motherfuckers will steal your coat and your shirt. No. <laughs> right, this stupid shit. Yeah. Leave fans. You know Niggas, take all your lug nuts off your car. No, no, they stole somebody's shoes off of their feet on Melrose a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. I believe they it. took their J's off the feet. They've been out there. I, I seen the nigga took a nigga Rose. girl from him. That like, it, literally, <laughs> like, an, come okay. here. She went with him. Give me your like, number. Oh, shit. Yeah. Atlanta <laughs> got petty crime, man. Motherfuckers. You know how you grow the fast food and then you might stop and get some gas on the way home or some shit? That's steal your food out the car. Yeah, oh, this nigga eat a wing. Hungry. Nigga eat a wing and throw a bone back in there. <laughs> yeah, that shit crazy. <laughs> no, but there's some bullshit going on. You, know crazy you, you, walk up, up. you walk up to your car coming out the gas station to pay for your gas. It's a nigga your door. Eat your wing, I just got two. You, you catch him right before. <laughs> I wasn't going to take the whole thing. Oh, boy. He's, he's ain't sure. <laughs> we saw a lot of wood for this, your plate. This ain't sure. 
No, no. This, this, no. no so, but you're straight though. Crazy. No, I'm not worried. Yeah, I'm not worried. you just gotta act like you from down here. That's the only thing. Like we can't even tell who from down here. Well, I went to Florida State, and I used to be. My baby daddy is from Griffin, Georgia. Oh, from Griffin. Oh, Griffin. Oh yeah, you you got country, you. So literally, good country. Yeah. Griffin, Georgia. Ooh, <laughs> ain't nothing but the sun and the dirt. Yep. <laughs> you caught it. <laughs> what, yeah, I did. What made you get into comedy? You know what I mean? Like, what I made always you wanted it? to do it. Um, really. Yeah, you know, I'm not one of those on comedians. Like, people never believe I'm a comic until they see me on stage. But I've always wanted to do comedy. I love Richard Pryor. When I was little, I used to watch him, and I always said I wanted to do it. And when I got to L.A., Chris Spencer pushed me on stage and was mm, like, you a comic. That's the OG, too. And then, you know, my mentor is Corey Holcomb. That's the OG right here. That's crazy. For real. Mm -hmm. That's that guy. So, he likes Carlos. He, uh, he thinks Carlos is funny. <laughs> that nigga Corey is one of the funniest niggas ever. Yeah. Well, yeah. If, if, it ain't yeah. too many people I like to watch in person. Yeah. I be like, I want to see him do it. Cause I know he's been amazing. I love man, when he's been amazing. And I want his new shit. Yeah, yeah. When yeah. you know he's been a minute, cause you know he gonna say some he's new, he gonna gonna say some new, new dirty fucked shit. up Ooh. shit. Man. Yeah, he walks people all the time. It's like it's interesting to watch who gets mad at what Corey says. He right. had a fight with audience members in D.C. In D.C., I remember. For that. Yeah, yeah, they just they got mad at him. He was doing his. Jesus is, was a side baby joke, mm. <laughs> and they got upset, <laughs> and they wow. ended up in a fight. I love watching that. He's I love brilliant, it though. Yeah, all the way, brilliant. He's one of my favorite comedians. Right. Yeah, he always yeah. been one of them ones that could just like. I he can just, tell a joke, but he can he 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 can tell it. Well, he was captivating. Like, what? And he has he had he'll tell you some he'll tell you a whole goddamn story, but that motherfucker had just some of the smartest, quickest goddamn straight to the the yeah. whole room finna be laughing. Yeah, you this is the thing saying. about Corey too, though, man. It's like people watch the jokes and they just see like everything you see. They get this perception of him, but Corey one of the most yeah, he's a humble, like Coolest realest Coolest. nigga Coolest. that would that you are ever coming. And you like, don't nobody no never say that about this nigga. Yeah, no he cap. is a good person. All the way. He's he's the first guy. person ever paid me Same to do a show. Yeah, first no, person ever put me on a on a plane to do comedy. First person ever paid me over a hundred dollars to tell a joke was Corey Hoker, man. Yeah. Took me out to the Addison Improv with him, let me open up for him. Shout out to the OG, so, man. Yeah. Wait. But you know the funny thing about Corey though, it's like he'll hear us saying this good shit about it, him and be like, man, that old pussy ass yeah, shit. Yeah, he would. <laughs> <laughs> and laugh at it though. Right. I'll be having these motherfuckers thinking yeah. I'm one of these pussy ass niggas. Yeah, he'd be like, stop. But you what know, about all that good shit? One of the most <laughs> interesting things to watch about Corey is that you'll see him go up after all these comedians who are up here. Mm -hmm. and, ah! mm -hmm. and he'll get on the stage and just stand there with his drink. And bring everybody to yeah, him. Facts. No, he don't ever raise his voice. He does not ever get excitable. Yeah. He's so brilliant. It's, it's really awesome to watch him. Y'all want me to come up here and do all that goddamn? Yeah. Give it up for the lady. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Yo, he's. So my comedy is very it's confrontational true. and he feeds that like he, I, I'll tell him a joke and he'll be like uh-uh you can go deeper you can go further you can go let's go uglier because he said they don't expect that from you so take it there and I think that it's created a monster now because now I'm really confrontational on stage and now people walk out of my shows <clears> and that feels good because Paul Mooney used to tell me until a motherfucker walk out your show you're not a real comic yeah I mean, I, I've never had the pleasure of punching somebody in the face. I mean, that's why, you know, you know what I mean? That is a win for comedians everywhere. Yeah. I was like, yes, you got crazy. to do the ultimate. Yeah. Clayton always talking me out of it. Well, Clay. <laughs> well, you, but Nino, no, you what? had a scuffle in the cover club one time. And put a um, nigga on the head. You said what? I said, every time <clears> I wanted to hit a motherfucker, you be like, man, go. No. It's not worth it. Claim let Don't me do come that on, shit, man. No. See the niggas he came with, man. They not what? deep, man. Let's do it. For what? What's this shit gonna do, bro? I don't like, know. It's gonna make me feel better eventually. Don't <laughs> care. Right. Right. Some point. Some point. Because these to niggas get is gonna tell, tell. Yeah. You know? they, 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 they tell the niggas. Is they tell the two S's out here. They tell the niggas. Look at what. Take that little battery charge, though, man. Let's do it. When the nigga lay down after the fact. 
That's you right. get the nigga, he been fine until you leave, then he lay down. What the motherfucker like Prince of King said? Hello. I am not here to thrash you. I'd like to call if it you're attacking assault. me, I would be forced to defend <laughs> myself. I would be forced to thrash you. <laughs> what are you gonna call it? I'd like to call it an assault. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga laying down like he on the street. He's screaming for no he reason. Ow! 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 You know what he's doing? Get around! He's doing what he's doing. He's doing what he's doing. I want to call it an assault. <laughs> he hit me. <laughs> oh my it's god. It's fine when you left. No way, he's stupid, bro. He was talking shit. Man, fuck that. That shit ain't shit, but I fuck you. <laughs> man, you get sued, man. Bro, that's man, why I was glad sue you for that Cardi B won that ass. lawsuit. Yeah. Because now it's like, sue people, motherfuckers man. keep suing you and then they end up getting sued. Yeah. Why? Why? Nigga don't lawsuit. know. Court fees and lawyer fees, that shit cost. And you trying happens. to sue me because you got Hold your Hold up, wait a minute. You ain't eat that pizza hut that you said was so good. It ain't good. Yes, I did, because I ate three of them goddamn dominoes. It ain't good like you said it was. Is it bad? I don't feel it. It's bad. Yes, I did. What's the verdict? It ain't better. It depends on where we got it from. <laughs> no, no, I ate three yeah. dominoes already, and I ate two halves, which was a yep. whole piece. No. So technically, I did. You see how you pizza. did all that? You that didn't like that shit. Pizza. That looked like pizza that kids yeah, don't like, don't like it. <laughs> what stop? You yeah. end up early. Exactly. You end up early. Nigga. Yeah. Stop. You talked all that shit up. early. Nigga. That shit ain't hitting no nigga. shit. End up throwing the fuck up. Try to take that's that. That's the bite that's gonna do it to you. Put that up. shit down. You're Tell me, he ate two yeah. hands. Hey, don't get me two bites. Bite. Hey, don't get me <laughs> two bites. On two pieces. Talked all that shit. Yeah, that shit nasty. <laughs> Yeah, that shit nasty. I can't, I can't let him. I pizza, can't let if you learn how to make pizza like you was making in 1994, you back home. I will home. not fail you. But until then, oh, that shit nasty. Get that shit out, fly your door. Don't follow it, nigga. You want it's that, delicious. That's the bite that's going to fuck you up, nigga. Is that a uh, sponsor? This is what I need. That pizza they had in 1994. We Everything might, after that I shit be good. That's where we got to go, but yeah. they be closed by the time yeah. we go to the It's not. Pizza. That shit is not good. It's delicious. <laughs> I think I should take another bite. That shit is not the business. You put it down. You don't you know want how that they shit do no more. Commercial you got to keep taking bites, then you got to spit that shit out. That's why you cry. But yeah, hey. you talked all that shit. That shit ain't hitting on nothing. Well, I had three double little pieces already, uh, buddy. It don't matter. And that shit thick. They're like, see, it's a dumb little pizza. What you want me to do? I thought I ain't nine pieces already. You can eat that frozen I'm ass full. shit if you want to. I'm full. Don't dumb little pizza everything. made with real ingredients. Boy, that is stupid, bro. They don't have ingredients, nigga. They got toppings. No Top. Domino's got ingredients, nigga. I thought the ingredients went inside. <laughs> Nope. Anything could be ingredients, nigga. What? No, ingredients <laughs> is sorry, what you make up the sauce. No, no. It's you only half. Yeah, no, we, we apologize. The was Pizza Hut? You know? It'll make shit go there. No. I'm too happy. Y'all got my guess too happy. Put these blunts out for the next 15 minutes. I'm good. Right. Y'all ain't got yeah. Ida real hot. She gonna start speaking Spanish yeah. now. Y'all stupid, bro. <laughs> I wanna hear it. I'm, 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 we'll be I know she, she did a lot more than I can speak. I do. Fluently. What if she did the rest of this interview in Spanish? Oh. We need that. That should be tied to that mom. Come on, say hi to my 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 mom. Shit, she would do that too much. No, I'm not. <laughs> I thought it was just you gonna give me your name. How you, say, the how, you Rican Spanish Spanish time, how you say DC didn't really like that pizza? Huh? <laughs> a DC no le gustó la pizza. <laughs> oh, no, 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 mami. no, 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 that's too funny. I think I should just have another bite of pizza. I always, I always hear people say, you know, talk about the, the, Bro, the struggles of being a female comedian and how difficult it is in the game. You know, this male dominated. Have you Hell went yeah. through any of that? Yeah, about three different minorities, ain't it? Well, you know what I mean? well, you know what? <laughs> yes and yes, but I think when um, you come from where I come from, nothing is going to keep me from going where, where I got to go. So. Mm -hmm. I've had um, people you know say the only way the only way I could go on the road with them is if I stayed in their bed in their room with them. <laughs> I've had comedians <clears throat> fly me out to work with them and then it, try to fuck me and when I'm, I'm like, no, I have to fly myself home. But I'm better than them in comedy, so I'm I'm 
you know, I'm so you good. better than them as human beings, too, don't you? Yeah, 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 but it happens all the time. And I think it happens in all fields. And women have to just, when, we, when you decide to be a comedian, you got to be a comedian. And I can't be a victim in comedy. It's just, it's not going to change overnight. And it's not going to change for me. <coughs> so what Corey told me was, write better than them. Be better mm. than them. And let them, let them fuck with you like that. It doesn't matter. You're going to... You're gonna always, now they call me and ask me if they can open for me. The same dude. Yes, one of them. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nah, you nigga, think you got a hug? You got a sleep in the car. You know what I've been doing skits. You know what I've been doing skits. <laughs> That's the old dude. The old dude, let me do a little skit for you. Yeah. Got five minutes. Yeah, I got a little skits. I just want to put you in a skit. Hey, hey I, I, I got this joke for you. Mm. Oh, my God. You are, that's the, the, the life of a woman comedian is everybody got a joke for you. Really? Let me write for you. Let me tell you how to do this. You should say this wow. all the time. Because men that are like that want you to perform per their perception. They right. want you to be who they yeah. want you to be as a right. woman and not as a comedian. And it happens all the time. But to me, the hottest pen will always win. You know? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. it's all man. about just writing. Mm -hmm. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Go. Go out there and get them jokes off. Make mm -hmm. sure that don't forget the motherfucker be funny. And yeah. I ghost write for some comedians that I'm in, so I know that I'm a good writer. Cause so, so, how, so what's your, what's your thinking process of writing? Cause that's where I'm in the game at now. Where I'm like, I, I want to go back to the drawing board. Mm -hmm. and I want to sit down and I want to go rewrite some shit. I want to go write, get it, get it together all over again. What you want? What story you want to tell? Like when you prepare for me, every set is a story. Mm -hmm and you feed the story with the jokes, but what is it that you're trying to say? Mm -hmm. Somebody like you has to come twice as hard because mm -hmm. they don't expect you. Mm -hmm. I mean, the expectation of you is <laughs> not because you have visibility, you have fame already, mm -hmm. you have, you know, you batch stuff. You got to prove yourself more. Mm -hmm. And you know that I'm not trying to shit on you. Mm -hmm. So you got to come back and say, this is a story I got to tell where you from mm -hmm. is very important because a lot of people don't know really where you're from. Mm -hmm. You just emerged and became this sensation that everybody became fascinated with, but they don't know your backstory. So when you punch somebody in the face and they realize you ain't no punk, mm -hmm. they know you come from somewhere real, mm -hmm. they should know about that, right? And mm -hmm. so for me, I think personally, I would, uh, I would start with origin story because I think it's important for people to understand where you come from because then they understand why you think the way you think. Exactly. And, and <clears throat> like where I come from, I grew up on wig, food stamps, you mm -hmm. know, I grew up around drug addicts. I think those people- And you just made me want some King Vitamin. Ooh, mm, yes! Stupid. With the little cost milk. The, the kicks and come caboose. On, those people deserve their stories to be told. Right. And when we get in this comedy game around these white people, they'll start saying, oh, that's that ghetto comedy, that's that urban comedy. <clears throat> But those That's people, why you gotta write some jokes for the white people too, man. Mm -hmm. You gotta go into the whole. But you're so uh, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Now, as a writer, do you think which one do you do you enjoy more? I was uh, actually doing your with my this morning, this morning or, or going up and just seeing what you can come up with on stage, like. I do that's both. What I enjoy. I enjoy like like you said that when we met in L.A. or when you saw. Oh my me God! You had you went on that stage yeah. in the belly room. Yeah. And, was, and just went in on all the comedians. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because for, for me that was what happened when I walked in. Like dressed nice. When I walked in, nobody spoke to me, right? right? Except for one dude, and I, he knew I would have said something to him mm -hmm. if he didn't speak to right. me, but. I wasn't tripping off everybody else, but that's what I was <laughs> talking about. Because when I got off stage, everybody was like, oh, Chico, man, uh, mm -hmm. nice to meet you. I'm like, well, why the fuck you niggas ain't saying that when I first came in? You they know couldn't I mean? remember, yeah. Like, it's a, it's a competitive. <laughs> yeah. You in L.A. too, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You was in the belly. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. That Chico? Choco? Yeah. Cocoa. Cholo. That's cocoa bean, I think his name is. <laughs> yeah, it's cocoa yeah. bean. So, Lime and beans. So, just being out there, that's, that's what I always said. Hey, Beanie Beanerson, aren't you? I have you? a theory. I've been Beanie been bag. Out there and did it. Beanie bag. Beanie bag. Beanie bag. Most people that you meet in the L.A. area are hungry. It's literally. It's my theory. Like uh, physically hungry. Yes. Not hungry for success, mm. hungry for a meal. Hungry. I ain't eat today. <laughs> it's a uh, lot of work. I ain't eat today. You can't get caught up in the mix. Like you gotta go out there like work. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, it's but work. it's hard when you're in the entertainment industry because it's you hard go when out you there. stay in LA. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. Out there specifically. Corey, speaking of Corey, he was one of that 
the dudes that gave me the game, we were standing out front of, uh, what's the club that's right by the uh, Roscoe's, the Comedy Union? Oh, the Comedy Union. Union. Yeah. So we outside of the Union and, you know, they having like a little, who's the funniest nigga in front of the club yes. session that they have out of there. Course. And, you know, I'm just out there just waiting to go. I was doing an audition for something. The dude said something to me and I just kind of brushed it off. And another comedian was like, oh, you just gonna let that nigga talk about you like that? I'm like, man, I don't know this nigga or you. Mm -hmm. And then Corey came up as that was happening and pulled me to the side. He said, let me tell you something about out here, man. Let these niggas just talk. He said, because once it's over, if you stay long enough, you gonna see a nigga looking around and just start walking down the street. Mm -hmm. He said, these niggas ain't got no friends out here, man. You know what I mean? Don't even get caught up in this shit. Do your thing, so. <laughs> that be the funniest shit, though. Them mm -hmm. awkward ass. People don't even, it's just like motherfuckers be talking just like that and then just split up. Yeah, walk off. Yeah, mm -hmm. walk off. <laughs> don't even say nothing. Yeah, just everybody's walk down the street. competing for one spot because they have let these white people convince them that there's only one spot at the top. Right. And if you understand economics, then you know that that's not the case. You know that if there is an Amy Schumer and a Whitney Cummings and a Nikki Glaser, I don't that know none means, of them folks. But they all eating, right? They all making money, mm -hmm. and there's room for all of them. Just like there was a Dane Cook and a, I mean, there there are multiple white comedians who make money, but they've convinced the people of color to believe it's only one time. It's there's only one. Only one. Everybody these else got to fight. Y'all gotta fight each other. Mm -hmm. And then everybody else is scrambling at the bottom instead of focusing on how what you did. He left last comic standing. He created a following. He he made a mark at the clubs and people were he's undeniable. So it doesn't matter, like it doesn't matter what they say. <clears throat> they know when he goes to a club, people are gonna be in the seats. Mm -hmm. But people are not focused on that. They're so busy trying to topple each other and be everybody else instead of being themselves and everybody's miserable because there it, it, if you think there's only room for one person at the top you're going to be miserable all day long because kevin hart ain't going nowhere no yeah. time soon right. you know yeah. what i'm saying you, you wait for a fall me off. i don't i'm an artist i'm not i have no, no desire to, to ascend into celebrity culture like i don't they goofy to me because of where i come from I'm, loyalty is at the is it's more important than love so for me i don't fuck with those people me and him bonded during last comic standing. It was me and him against the world because we don't. I don't. I don't come from that. I'm a true artist. Like I, all I want to do is create. And for me, I always. God always takes care of me. I'm always fine. I'm never struggling. I'm never. But I don't participate in that. For me, it's just about the art, the integrity of the art. Because if it, if you're good, they will come. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Clayton knows. Clayton is the one of those people that they those white comedians be like he's he's really smart like he's really funny like they love to but they wouldn't say that about anybody like as smart because oh he knows about that yeah they do that right. he's not supposed to know yeah it's that. insulting <laughs> how did you know yeah. How, how did you find that book? Little bitch, uh, what you mean? I, I didn't know book. a lot of random ass shit. That's good shit, though. Yeah, it's insulting. I don't know what the fuck he be studying. Encyclopedias. Might just be the right shit. Life lessons. Yeah. Right? Like that Slumdog Millionaire. I just know the right answers at the right time sometimes. Right. Yeah. You be knowing some shit, though. But yeah. we, we're, it don't matter where we come from. We're just as smart as anybody yeah. else. Fact. And we're still here. Yeah. Bro, I always you know? think about the hypothetical white people who mm -hmm. black people think exist. What if with oh, some of this shit, like, but they, white people can't even take credit for it? Like, that's so not us, bro. But whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and they know that shit too. Dude, we have nothing to do with we education, bro. No it's it's bro. so not us, bro. Like, we're in charge of like racism and that's it, bro. Like all these other industries. He's talking about racism and that's it. <laughs> that's bro. capitalism we don't like, bro. <laughs> racism is bad, but you it's not like as you bad. Right. Capitalism is like for racism real, on steroids. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's, racism. it's not me, bro. Like, it's the same white people holding me back too, man. <laughs> I don't have as much shit as you think I am. I mean, I'm white, but I'm not like white, white. white. <laughs> but that's true, though. But those people don't know it. Man. Like, that's the truth. That's actually facts. But they don't know that they're being held by the same people that are holding us down. It's the same. Because they think that one day the white, the right white people are going to see them and be like, dude, you're not in yet? <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you say something? Yeah. We thought we were doing enough. You mean to tell me there's poor white people out here? 
that. This is injustice. We can't stand you this. You think they gonna come <laughs> scoop you up and be like, there you go. Yo, you mean We're waiting for you to come you along. <laughs> Who should have sat down if, what if we, like, What if the white Get person here. is that evil and he like sent out reparations through some niggas at night? They were supposed to distribute it, but they just kept all the money. It probably be because that's how niggas is. Like, what if they always pick just one nigga that everybody like and be like, make him a billionaire. See if he helps his people. Ah, you don't think people, that already happened? They probably keeping score. Mm-hmm. Nigga, we're up and we're seven and up. <laughs> I mean, we've given the resources away. They just want to help each other. <laughs> they ain't gave it to no, right. yeah, they ain't gave true. nobody true. who all the way Absolutely, because we got them. We yeah. dead yeah. What if they gave all the reparations to Oprah and she was supposed to pass them out? <laughs> it's out of prayer if they got here. What if they gave me? All right, all right, okay, Oprah followed the bag. Okay, okay. <laughs> Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry. He gonna do the right thing. He gonna. He did a little bit. He did a little bit. He bought that studio, nigga. Hold on, we got clay work there. We can't say that. He did. He cut that out. He doing it. He doing it. He doing it. it out. Scratch. All of it off clear. Start over again. Start over again. Start over again. Start over again. Tyler Perry. Over again. 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 Cut that whole part out. We're going for another one. He got a lot of people working. All right, Jay Z. They was like, all right, oh. They fuck with hoes. They fuck with hoes? H to the Izzo. Did he do it? He did it. Title. A little bit. You got it. That's the thing. He, he did, started. You get he got all the He was like, he freed niggas like, 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 from jail. Was, but he was like, yeah. <laughs> he freed niggas from the jail. <laughs> I didn't do it. He freed niggas. Fuck this. I was like, okay. All right, all right. Just our last shit. Okay, okay. Who else? Who? P. did it. Kanye. Oh, oh well, no. Did he do it? <laughs> no. He did it. He, he did definitely didn't do it. Did he, he, do it. he did it before. I mean, he he did it. This nigga went home to clothes, man. Did he, he, he rapped about, about it. What he did? It. He did he, he, he was supposed to do it. He rapped about it, then he said, I ain't even want to rap about that. Did he do it? Did it, man. No, he did it. Did he did it? Should was supposed to do it. Oh, did he? Damn sure didn't do it. Did he do it? Did he do what did he do? 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 Did That's what I'm saying. Did. Everybody who got the Nobody. money, Floyd Mayweather. What? Yeah. What Michael Jackson did. did. But he made 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 school made 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 LeBron made built a school in LA. Now LeBron, yeah. Oprah did what build a school in Africa. Yeah. yeah. We just count. don't see it. Though. They, they don't probably count. Going they do? No, it don't. No, well, maybe don't. that's the thing. They don't count. Maybe the rule is you I mean, can count, spend as much of this money as you want to on your people. We just can't nobody ever find out about it. But see, we need Jay Z because he political. Can't nobody ever get the system. This new, if, if the news get out that you doing all this good shit, we gonna take all your but bread. LeBron's so keep it under the table. Right? Huh? LeBron's a yeah, billionaire. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he, he will be. He's close. Like, yeah, he will be. He's close. He's done a lot. He's he got a lifetime he's contract. contract. He actually, he yeah. A lot of that ain't gonna lie. Just because it's not being televised, doesn't right. mean they're not doing yeah, that's it. That's what I'm yeah. saying. We know for a fact you that all these people that we name are definitely doing shit. They what if they doing some nigga shit? Go do cheat cake. That's crazy. Little bit by a little bit, they are scared to do something major all at once. Of course. I mean, but any, anybody who comes for capitalism in America gets murdered. Yep. Right. Because, you know, Martin Luther King was fine until he started talking Ooh, about man. capitalism. Yeah. That's when they killed God him. Damn, I shouldn't have never brought it up. Fred Hammond, you know, mm-hmm. he was 21 and they killed him because he knew exactly what the what the problem was. Yeah, and they, right. they took him out early before he even became... So that's the problem. You can talk about you can be talk about racism your whole life. Look, Jesse Jackson is still alive, but the minute you start talking about their money, the money? that's when they come for you. They don't like that. Probably a phone that rings somewhere with a white man. Hello, Hello? Uh, what do you say? Hello. Was it who? Don't All drink right. Coca Cola. We're on the way. What the niggas <laughs> gonna drink then? Yeah. <laughs> no man. What? <laughs> Where's your favorite place to perform? New York. Word. For real? What? Um, the audiences are not forgiving. If you're not funny, right. they will let you know. Right. They're just, you know, if you if you make them laugh in New York, you go to Caroline's and you, then you know you funny, you know. I like performing in places where there's balance. I don't like performing where there's all white people. There has to be us because we don't laugh easy, but mm-hmm. if we laugh, we laugh for real. Yeah. Why, you know, white people be like, oh, that's funny, that's so clever, but that's not a laugh. Right. I don't want to see you laugh. Ah! Right? Yeah, right. Exactly. Do another one.
product, I use it, man. I use it just about every day, especially if I'm on the road. I started taking AG1 because I wanted to boost my immune system. I ain't have time, you know, I wanted better gut health, more energy. You want to optimize your immune system. If you hate taking pills slash vitamins, and you want a supplement that actually tastes great, you got to see what this is about. So look, with one delicious scoop of AG1, you absorb 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole foods, source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help you start your day right. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, and aging. All the things that matter most. Contains less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals, or artificial anything, and it still tastes good. Tons of people take some kind of multivitamin, and it's important to choose one with high quality ingredients that your body will actually absorb. Right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop and a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash 85south. Again, that is athleticgreens.com 85south. And take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Applause ain't laughs. <laughs> Yes, applause is not even a laugh. It's yeah. it's, it's a identification of something clever. Right. I yeah. Agree like when I see some comedian, they be they be getting the claps and shit. I be like, damn, hell no. That's not what I want. That's pandering though. Because yeah. we all know the shit that would make people do that. That's oh, I feel yeah, like but it ain't always pandering when you get a clap. Sometimes you just. A clap sometimes when you say some real shit. Oh, but, but what you saying, saying yeah. but he, what he's saying what is I'm giving up for the troops. Oh, yeah. You already know. Yeah, yeah. 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 one of them jokes that you could tell that was funny to somebody and then they enjoyed that joke. They were like, whoo! Yeah, yeah. I like that one. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You done caught, you done caught a couple of those. Right. Yeah, no, absolutely, but... Not just claps. But the, just the claps without good. the laugh is... <laughs> <laughs> those are performance claps. That's a good. That's That's like when you do your dismount and they give you... They clapping for the execution. Like, oh my God, that was so good. Yeah. I never saw it coming. Like, you tricked me. Right. <laughs> Where does that voice come from? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I do a lot of voices. Them last time shit. standing applause breaks were hilarious. I know, because those were the weirdest people, man. They was just bringing they them in. They were laughing at the, the weirdest times. If you can make them people what laugh. Good night, everybody. Because these, were, night, cause these, ha, ha. these awesome. were some different kinds of white people. These are white people drink milk for dinner. Yeah, like I would, I didn't, there were parts of my jokes where people would laugh and I was, I would be like, that's funny to you? <laughs> I didn't know that, that was not the punchline. Yeah. But it was, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Did you really say it? Because you and your setup and you like, y'all laugh, bitch, they have a dog. Yeah. Those are TV audiences, though. We say dog, <laughs> he said <a> dog. <laughs> yeah. He called him a dog. Did you really say it? He said ketchup. He said, we say ketchup. He said ketchup. <laughs> hey, Carlos, you want some more ketchup? <laughs> what you call it? What you call it? What you call it? We call it ketchup. That's no, ketchup. The animal. What oh, you said the dog. dog. Oh, he said it's a dog. <laughs> 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 we say dog, right? Uh, dog. Uh, dog. Uh, dog. I said dog. Say it again. <laughs> dog. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, it's man Carlos Miller, and I'm here to tell you that the 85 South Show is coming in Savannah, Georgia, July the 3rd. That's right, Ghetto Legends Unfinished Business Tour. Auntie ready. She keeps smiling at me, showing me them uh, gums and licking her she, tongue out. <laughs> oh, Auntie. Hell no, nah, Auntie. Me, Chico, DC, the whole game. Get tickets at 85southshow.com. That's right, 85southshow.com. That's where the tickets are, so that's where you need to be. Let me say it again. The 85 South Show is coming in Savannah, Georgia, July the 3rd. You know I'm doing loose, man. Get the tickets. Get the website. 85southshow.com. That's why I be looking at some of them flags uh, for the LA shows and I be like, this is, this that makes look so like hell sense. to me. This shit crazy. They got everybody you can think of on these damn flags. 
Oh my gosh, the flyers. You ever see some of these flyers? You're like, who is putting these fucking shows together? <laughs> and they going too. People going to watch this show. Oh my God. Well, right now, because everything was locked down, so now everybody's clamoring for comedy because they it's need an outlet. It's just five of the most yeah. random ass people you can yeah. think of. And it was well, they, when they were trying to do diversity, right? There Fuck diversity. Three white guys. Everything don't need to be diverse. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what happened. They would do three Fuck white guys diversity. and then put you and a gay yeah. person and they'd be like, yeah. hey, we got it. Yeah. Fuck yeah. diversity. And they they but the shows would not have a no. Well, we want to carry to every bitch. Everybody not coming to the show. Mm-hmm. That's the thing about diversity. Yeah, you right can't accommodate for motherfuckers who not there. Yeah. Just in case. Right. Man, put funny first. That's why, like this side, this side of the country, just feel like it's funny first. On the East Coast, the South, like if you mm -hmm. funny, you gonna get put on to something. Somebody else is going to be like, hey, It's come. easy to tour on like, the East Coast. Out there, they don't care nothing about fun. They want to know what else you got going on, what you doing, how hot you are right now. Right. But they that's just in L.A., though. Can that's you like, sell yourself yeah, 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 yeah. You go to San Francisco. San Francisco is a good comedy market. Like, Oakland is too. Oakland, yeah, Oakland no, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, the Bay Area. Like, they, they don't play that shit out there. But see, that's the thing about comedy, though. It's like, all it's no right or wrong way to do this shit. All this shit's supposed to be different. Yeah. It's supposed yeah. to be different, and it's like, you can't be catering to, to what you think comedy is, bro. That's what makes the show dope. It's like, mm -hmm. everybody don't need to be on the same, oh, I wrote this shit, I wrote this, I wrote this. Look mm -hmm. how good I can remember and perform this shit. It's like, if you watch a comedy show, nigga, it's all these motherfuckers who come up there are supposed to be different in some aspect. Performance. Yeah. And it's like, mm -hmm. we losing the nuances of comedy, yeah. bro. We lose, we losing motherfuckers who tell jokes with the mic stand. Motherfuckers don't tell jokes from the side no more. It's like, everybody doing their fucking best Impression. version of a comedian. Right. That's yeah. what we, when we were judging that show, it was, right. it was those comics that were going up there doing what they're, you know, like you'll see a comedian grab a drink and then they'll slur their speech like some of the comedians used to do back in the day, but you know it's not real. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like you see them embodying somebody else. Right. And that's why they, you know, like, I, I'm gonna be me. I don't have to be anybody else. I don't have to walk around tap dancing for jokes. It's just not At my all. personality, right. right? It's just who I am. Yeah. But I'll see somebody else and I just saw somebody do me on stage and it was, it was amazing to watch because mm. they didn't want to get no laughs. And I was like, because you're not being yourself. You can't right. be me. When you mm -hmm. say be you, you mean actually doing your yeah, material? She, no, not doing my just... material, but doing my style of comedy right. in a way. Because I know it's a person who watches me all the time. And yeah. So they Man, you know your shit when you <laughs> see it. Yeah, Motherfuckers well, ain't got to be saying what you're saying verbatim, but they trying right. to. Tell, they trying to do that shit like you. Y'all wasn't yeah. thinking they like that. They using your verbiage. Because you, you went out your yeah. way you to verbiage. put yeah. different verbiage in this bitch. Mm -hmm. yeah, like, yeah. if I can go in the club and I do a motherfucking rhinoceros joke, mm -hmm. and I've been knowing you ain't got no rhinoceros joke, the next right. time I see you, you talking about elephants. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, you ain't talking about rhinoceros, but nigga, when you start talking about elephants. Yeah. Yep. Nigga, you, you ain't, that's when you really own a nigga nuance. Right. Yeah. Like you trying to talk like a motherfucker. You want to say the shit that you heard them say. Right. Like you yeah. take a nigga tag and just be like, oh, this just, that's how people talk. No, it's not. Right. Where you get it from? That was right. Mine, buddy. Right. No but, and you know, you know, you already know. And it's just, uh, it doesn't work. That's the thing is when you do, like I've seen people try to do Corey Holcomb on stage and you just be like, oh, that doesn't work for you. Nobody believes you have a side bitch. So you can't even start right. there, right? We don't believe you. Ain't you ain't got no homes, No, no, we don't believe. We don't believe you got a main bitch. ain't got no homes, right? You know what I'm saying? Right. So, and then you watch the people do it and it just, it's really sad to watch because you're gonna you're gonna burn out because you can't do somebody else for a long time. Eventually mm -hmm. you gotta because you're gonna yeah. follow me around and see what I do all the time. And it's yeah, just, that's what that's what D Ray told me one time. He said they always restricted to whatever you think if they doing you. So mm -hmm. let them have that shit because you're gonna think of something else, but they're gonna be waiting on you to think of it before they can do anything. That's another one who's been doing his he's been doing him forever, right. and now everybody too. catch caught up to him because yeah. at first. They, he was too cute to do comedy, or he got the green eyes, or he. I feel like anybody can learn confidence from D-Ray. 
Oh, absolutely. That nigga loved the fuck out of himself. Yep. <laughs> okay. That's absolutely. He was the first. He was the first motherfucker that took me on the road. Besides the OGs, when I first got on, he was like, "Look, they gonna tripping, man. Fuck what you talking about. Come on the road with me. Let me show you how this shit go." Woo, 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 woo. And yep. well, before you know it, it was Tiffany Haddish was on the show with, with us, and six months later. She blew. Mm -hmm. It was my literally like mm -hmm. blue. And it was just like fun to see her even transition and go crazy. But mm -hmm. that's why I always respect D Red, cause he was one of the first ones that brought me on the road and you know what I mean, showed me the ropes of this shit. Yeah, when I was on I was on the Shaq All-Star tour and D Ray was my keeper. Like D Ray was be the one that'd be like, come here. Cause you know what on that tour I had to prove myself because it's Michael Blackson, Tony Roberts, mm -hmm. D Ray. Tommy Burns. Davidson, killers too. And I, yeah. I would be the only woman every week in every earthquake, and every week I would Kill. have to prove myself. Yeah. And they would they would test me, they would they haze me, and D Ray would always be the one that was like. You still you see yourself yeah, doing that now, since you come from that type of background where people kind of groomed you. Do you do that with being in LA? I know you see so many people that do mm -hmm. comedy. And do you reach out and say, okay, I see something in you, come in, let me give you some advice and oh, help you absolutely. out? Oh, absolutely. Well, me and Tiffany, that was our pact. Me and Tiffany always said, because me, Tiffany was my mentor because she was doing comedy longer than me. But we always, that was our thing. When I did last, we did last Comic Standing, Tiffany was on a show called Funniest Wins on yeah, TBS. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was at the same time. And we both were like, whoever goes first, throws the rope back. But we always, we, our, our clique has always been look out for somebody else. Cause we not envious hater as bitches. You know what I'm saying? We mm -hmm. have confidence on ourselves in ourselves that we don't have to hate on other women or other people. And it's very hard to navigate in a business where people who hate themselves are around you. Cause jealousy is self hate. Right. And so she and I have never been like that. She would call me and be like, bitch, you made it to the top 10. Like we always had this, thing with each other and we always said we were going to help other people and she's still doing it like you still she when we did uh they ready tiffany just had become a star like she didn't really have time to do that she still wasn't cemented in the game you know mm -hmm. like and she still said fuck that i'm gonna i'm gonna make sure y'all do it and i'm gonna make sure they pay y'all like a, like what they pay white men mm -hmm. and she made sure that we did and she took a pay cut so that she could give us they ready but she wasn't even she still hadn't even done her own netflix special ours came out first and then hers came out but we always been like that uh, you know we always uh, and i don't understand why you can't be like that especially black and brown people right that's the only way we go forward is if we have solidarity. If we keep up with this hating ass shit, we eat it. We eat it ourselves. We don't. They don't need to have to do anything. To us. Did y'all know brown people was over there? Like, man, we gotta get some more black people over here, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's cool, but we need a few they more friends. They more friends, man. Hey, friends, that's it. Well, that's me. I did something, man. <laughs> I want some chillings, huh? <laughs> That's so funny, because you know in Miami, oh, that was some cornbread too, it's black and brown people. Black and brown. It's a totally different My life. high school was 49% black and 51% Hispanic. Mm, we didn't man. have no white people, but the teachers. Right. So it's so funny, it was like culture shock when you go to LA and then they, the black people and the Latinos hate each other. And we're like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. That's crazy, because in LA, when they come over here, they be like, they love the, the unity. I be like, yeah. Why y'all love it, but when you see why, you be like, oh, okay. They it's love different. it when it's out here. Right. Yeah. But out there, oh, yeah. Yeah. we don't the, do the, that shit, that fool. That culture too strong out there for them to ever be able to get past that it's shit. It's a gang there. culture, too. Yeah, it's the gang culture. Yeah. It's just that shit run deep all the way. Yeah, it comes from the prisons over there, so they have that separation because they all at war. That shit been going on for a long that time. Right. Right. Somebody long grandma time. street name is Puppet. <laughs> Happy. Puppet. Happy puppet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> somebody, a, Spider is somebody's grandfather now. With a tattoo. He got a soft spot yeah. for a little black and brown spider, baby. Like you say, dog. Spider. That's the only thing that's going to cure racism is black grandchildren. That's God's punishment for the most racist people. That's what they said. Um, black grandchildren. Yeah. 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 You, you've been in the grocery store and heard those passionate white ladies giving them speeches. Listen, my Baby, he's a black boy, yeah. and I love him just like he's a regular boy. What the fuck? What's what a regular boy? What's a regular boy? I got black grandchildren, and I got white grandchildren, and they all come get in the bed and 
and sleep with Namo every last one of them. <laughs> we don't see no color in this family. Their daddy's a black man and he's a police officer and he's a pretty good black dude. <laughs> they say I wish everybody would just stop all this. You started this shit. 2045 though, they said. By 2045, what? the majority no, the majority of people will be no, black and brown. No, it's not. Oh, that's why people, that's the thing. That's why, they, that's why these white supremacists no, are losing their minds right now. They're not. Because the sense you don't have no idea how many white people it is. Old white people, I don't know everybody about six to one. Huh? No, it's going to be so, so many motherfuckers interbred that mm-hmm. they ain't going to have no choice. Because this new be generation don't yeah. give a fuck about that bullshit. Yeah, they yeah. I mean, yeah. we, we done intermingled and went no crap, but we still forgot Europe now. There's a lot of, there's a lot of ass over there. Yeah, they don't Racism even, falling off. They don't, they, don't even take get, no, they don't even talk about this shit. I saw a clip on the internet with this little white girl out front of the high school. She said, I'm so glad that years ago, the first black man, Martin Luther King, ended slavery. Because without that, people would be getting whipped right now. It was just like, hey, hey, hey get off the mic. But, bro. <laughs> 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 hey, 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 get off the mic. No, but, you know, the mic. <laughs> but, but the reality is, they don't have a connection to none of that shit. They walk around looking like the Neptunes. It don't take but a little something to end a little racism, bro. When Meg Thee Stallion came out, yeah. But get your ass on that guy. When she was like, people will be getting whipped. Right? like, hey, 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 hey. Off the mic, baby. Come on. If it wasn't for Martin Luther King, the first black man. She said, the first black man, Martin Luther King, ended slavery. That had to be to let you know how far her shit go back. They, I mean, hey, shit. It's just uh, kids geez. ain't learning about it now. Like They don't even teach it. And, and they're, they're trying, trying to take it out. They're trying to take it out of, out of yeah, the they curriculum. Don't want you to, they don't want you to know. what curriculum that is I in. I wonder if a racist yeah. white man ever seen a black woman with a fat ass and is like, dude, I'm out, bro. Is she a fucking ass? <laughs> what? But what the fuck is wrong Dude, with you? Like, like, this bro, shit was I'm cool. Out, bro. This shit was cool at first, but like this whole hating black people shit, I, I don't get it. <laughs> no, they you can't do it. <laughs> that ain't never affected it. fucking. Motherfuckers be racist and hate motherfuckers and still for I don't know why that's the default setting for Home I'm okay. Racism. I'm okay with with black people. I, I date black dudes. Yeah, but you make them wear look goddamn. Dress up, little little suit. Tide. Yeah, you make him wear a little bit. It's your big, slave, yeah. bitch. You think you slick. This nigga dressed in a tuxedo <laughs> with no sleeves and shit. <laughs> with shit man with the shit. Yeah, off the pile. Right. Bitch, right. No, man. He said nigga in there with his arms out like Jacks, <laughs> man. It's Fuck a fascination with blackness that they, started they, long. They did not. That's part of the reason I had to leave the part alone. Oh, my God. I don't even know what the racism is here for. What is this about? What White dude this fucks about? ghetto bitch who dropped out of school. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Ebony cocksucker sucks dick and eats watermelon. Who? What? <laughs> right. It be that type of shit. You fucks whore through. Hot Cheeto bag. Give me big like, nigga. Big titty G D bitch fucks <laughs> white man and white man. man. What is it? Black boy through hot Cheeto bag. Uh, be like, big titty G D student. This fucked up. <laughs> this shit crazy. 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 The big titty G D student fucks a white man at work. Yeah. <laughs> that fucking ain't got nothing to do with racism. That shit can still be prevalent. Yeah. Right. It's been, well, I mean, the fascination with it started during slavery. And I, it's funny how all them girls in L.A., all them white girls got big lips. Come on, somebody. They all got fat asses. Who they want to be? Who they want to be? Who they want to be? And they go to the tanning booth. Like, it's, it's they amazing. They want to get their skin yeah. darker. You look at who you want to be. Look at Kim Kardashian's too. last um, <coughs> magazine. They said she was channeling her inner black woman. What inner black woman? The, the let that black, that black lady woman. out. And she purged. If she you purged. got a black woman trapped in you, she let purged. her come home. Who gonna be the black she woman that come home. out and say she channeling her in a white woman? Oh, I don't even think you can say that publicly, to be honest. I was trapped in Kim Kardashian for two years. <laughs> You'll get crucified. Your motherfuckers, your inner Jennifer Aniston. Motherfucker gonna look at you crazy. <laughs> but it's like nobody wants to channel that. I don't you know even know the no black like, people that give a fuck enough about. Like, we don't, I don't feel like black people give a fuck enough to even be racist. You can't be racist Ooh. if you're black. It's impossible. 
But a lot of people say that, but this this is an argument on both sides. I mean, sides. let's just look yeah. at what it would take. We can be bigots. We can be prejudiced. We can be prejudiced. Can be can be pre- pre- we can't be, can't be racist. racist. Well, we can, it's a mean motherfucker out there to be. I'd be like, bro, look, bro, leave that motherfucker alone. <laughs> like, <laughs> his folk probably did something to our folk, but leave him alone. No, bro, they gotta get it every time. Yeah. You feel me? You be like, bro. You tripping. I know people. Channel your energy somewhere the fuck else. First off, we ain't feeling When the water pop yeah. off, I'm gonna need yeah, you there. Other than that, 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 that if you ain't feeling no fucking hard, nigga, shut your angry ass up. But people in the woods what? with the guns. Come on, yeah. man, you tripping, I just bro. wonder how much racism has affected the quality of my life. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's a hell of a question. Well, back then, you know, you know when, like, I wonder how I'm directly affected by this shit. Like, if I wasn't this directly affected by local racism, what I could have possibly have been exposed to? Back then? Mm. Shit, right now. Like, I was born in the 80s, right? And we know for a fact that in the 80s, in the projects, everybody was exposed to lead paint and lead windows and asbestos and lead in the water and mercury. And all types of shit. We, we, we know this is for a fact. Right. Right. We, we know this for a fact. We're getting up out of there, but yeah, you got. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, right. I wonder mm-hmm. how much this shit, like you was talking about, Wick and all like of this shit. Like water and Flint. At some point of our life, we're going to find out that these things were not good for, for us. us in the long term. Yeah, right. but we done found that out. Colon cancer is so high. Man, what's up, man? Yeah. Oh. What if we fuck around and find out Kool Aid, the little shit, before you make the Kool Aid had glass in it or something? <laughs> we don't know what the fuck the long term right. effect is going to be of the shit that we've been exposed to. We don't know. In 10 years, motherfucking ears might start falling off from using iPhones phones and shit. You ain't never really drank water, nigga, some crazy shit like that. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Watch the type of headlines start coming out. 66% of Tesla owners have cancer now. I mean, what? One of them commercials. If you right. were anyone that you love has owned a Tesla from 19... Have been in 99 to 2020, you, you may be incompetent with large large man. Of cash, for real. That man, I just heard them just folks say Zantac. Set my mind on a if you, trip, bro. If you took <laughs> Zantac, I was just like, you got a lawsuit. <laughs> now they still showing Zantac commercials. If you've yeah. ever had an Arch Deluxe Super Size when it was 39 cents, please call this number immediately. You Six. already know that. An uh, Arch Deluxe with the round bacon? If you ate a McRib from 2005 to 2026, please call this number or contact your local poison what, center. Had Canadian bacon on it? Nigga, it wasn't Canadian bacon, it was some hickory bacon, but it was a circle. Ooh, it was some what? round bacon, and that shit. The Arch well, Deluxe, I don't even remember that motherfucker. You don't remember the Arch Deluxe? They made a sandwich that, that was targeted for grown people. Where was that? McDonald's. McDonald's? Mm-hmm. Arch Deluxe? Really? They had an adult the sandwich. Oh. It was supposed to be good. like a quarter pounder type Big Mac mm. minus the Mac sauce. It was like an adult sandwich with yeah, like everything. Yeah, it had some other different type like, of sauce on it. Not just a ketchup yeah. mustard burger. It was like yeah. mayo, different lettuce, tomato. Yeah. They had this different, they had, that's they had it on a brioche bun. Different bread yeah, like, like, that. like that on a brioche bun. Mm. Yeah. I never ate a McRib sandwich. Like, I never yeah, no, no. But that, that, I ain't, I ain't no McRib fan. That's this guy. But I fucked with him. That Michael Jordan sandwich they had. Yeah. What was the Michael Jordan was, sandwich? I, don't, I think it was just a, a quarter pounder with some bacon and some barbecue sauce. That's I'll what make that bitch to this day. Give you, me some bacon and barbecue sauce. If I go to McDonald's, I don't go. You still eat pork? If I'm forced to. Ooh. I eat pork. There's no shame to. in it. You eat pork? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. You know a pig eats you if you don't eat that. Boy, I punch shit out of there. I'm gonna shit out of That's so literally it. a rhetorical question. Come out! You eat pork. Hell yeah, yeah. Well, what? Come out, Puma! That's what's wrong out. with you niggas now! You well, stop I'm eating pork! McDonald's had yeah, a rack. What pork be to you? Hey, what's up? It's Carlos Miller. Memorial Day just passed, which means summer is here. If you want to be ready and standing at attention when the time is right, Blue Chew can help. That's right. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of the licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises. The best part is all done online, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. 
So if you could benefit from some extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help. And we've got a special deal for all our listeners. Try Blue Chew for free when you use our promo code 85 South at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code 85 South to receive your first month free. Visit bluechew.com for more details, for more important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. The yeah. big I don't know the last time I had pork. What Chris Rock oh, say? Pig ain't never called me a nigga. Sam <laughs> I can't do it. Yeah, that's nothing. Once I saw a pig, like, the, they don't have no pores, and then the, all the fat comes, all of the secretion comes out of the hooves, I could never oh, eat it again. That's what they do? Well, yeah, they don't you know pores, how you do that? You turn the heat up on half. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. Nah. That shit will make my body eat. I can do it. Uh, make, I never even knew about a Michael Jordan sandwich at McDonald's. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. We shit. grew and up I on didn't... McDonald's and shit. We're the fast food generation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We've watched McDonald's become this little stuck up hoochie that she is now. <laughs> what about the hamburger? That bitch was so good when oh, she was young. Oh, remember all of them? All the hamburgers? Well, they was marvelous. That's what that chick that Kanye was dating. That's how he had, what he had her looking what, like. The she, hamburger? She looked, that bitch looked like the hamburger. Rubble, rubble. Y'all stop talking about Kanye. You know it. Remember when she got that? I told you I got a theory. Kanye West watched this show, man. I and people Kanye. on the internet started pointing out little shit. Like every time we mention that nigga, he kind of like, he do some of the shit that we say. Man, I like, fuck with Kanye. Like what? What you mean? I, I had to see you. I do some clothes. Like, I don't want to fuck it clothes. up. But we on to you, bro. Yeah, that shit is. We on to man, you, man. They gonna have me looking like a trash. <laughs> we know you watch this shit. I can't stand the regular. I'm talking about no cap. <laughs> that nigga I mean, said I want some regular genius. clothes. I want some regular clothes. Time machine to get some regular clothes, man. They got <laughs> all homeless gear now. I just want some regular clothes. Some I shit. the old clothes, yeah. You walk the- around <laughs> in the goddamn. You know, you know, I'm, I'm a want the clothes you had on in the documentary. You got a shelter yeah, blanket right here, clothes. man. He pimping them people though, cause he, this is his version of couture, and them people spending all that money on One that shit. He was a fashion oh. genius. Yeah, he's he's spending money. And they'll spend anything with anything. You got on anything. the shoes. Yep. <laughs> I fought with him. I got on his shoes. got him, you know? Oh, yeah, that's one thing about it. I'm going to support his crazy ass now. That's what <laughs> I was about. I'm going to buy his homeless clothes. I rethought my whole stance on it. Because I feel like at some point, I'm going to go crazy, too. I'm okay. And I ain't going to want y'all to throw me away when I have my episodes. Mm. What you supposed to do when, when the motherfucker go crazy? I'm going crazy. That's, I'm planning it. I'm you not, think we I'm not going to do that. Let me know huh? if I can go crazy. I just don't want y'all to turn on me. <laughs> I'm like, you sure, nigga, because when you do it, I've been waiting. Y'all, no, you I don't want to hit. That's Who you been say fuck? I'm going to say fuck everybody. Mm. Fuck these niggas. No, I'm saying when I hit my goal in the money, I'm going to do some shit that I know a lot of people ain't going to agree with. And I just want y'all to be able to say, nigga, low. I'm going to make sure you hit your mark. Wait, wait, wait. I'm like, Tico, Clay, y'all got y'all Get off the mic real quick, nigga. Make sure we straight. We about to go crazy. Why would that get mad at him from? Or the Donald Trump? The MAGA shit. The MAGA stuff. Personally, I ain't never been mad at him because I don't give a fuck with people that I don't That's what I'm saying. It's all that dudes who ain't doing shit. I don't want people to be giving a fuck about what I do When he said slavery wasn't. It was a choice. It was a choice. It was he a did choice. trip out on that shit. He I mean, he but do you understand, like, that all of us have opinions about shit that we ain't we That's would offend the We would feel the people. same way about. Mm-hmm. Oh no, absolutely. If you said it out loud, people gonna be like, "What? You goofy motherfucker!" Hell yeah. The same thing happened. I, I think said. it's crazy that people put dicks in their mouth. <laughs> I think that's fucking crazy. <laughs> But I know that we need them people. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's even crazier? <laughs> I do. I think it's crazy as hell that people put dicks in their mouth. Oh my! You ever see a dick? Watch, watch me be the only one get canceled for this. Like, he said it, I'm laughing, and I'm the one that's with you. Even look at a dick. My thing is the crazy part is we trust we our dicks in a mouth. <laughs> we put our dicks in a mouth. We, we, we trust you. This, your dick could be. I was talking about straight up. Oh. <laughs> he ain't on the lip and everything. How much we trust this shit? That shit is crazy. You your mouth is, has the most germs. Than anything. Right. We trust this shit. You be seeing him smoking everything. Newports. No. I see you. That, <laughs> that, that was, was funny. I see the on the tube. 
It's okay. <laughs> that ain't crazy. You see the feeling before you go in. It's okay. Uh, I fuck. see the catch on the tooth. I'm here. Bro, oh, man. man. And it, as it enters. There's teeth in there. Oh, hey, I'm put my that's, teeth in there. Uh, that's true, though. It's everybody had. And that's the thing that pisses me off when they try to cancel comedians of color when they talk about homosexuality. That wasn't even we about homosexuality. No, no, that was we were about women. no, no, I know what you're talking about, but what I'm saying, <laughs> they indoctrinate us to be homophobic and then they penalize us for it. Yeah. And it's like, and in our, my, when we grew up, it wasn't cool. Nah. <laughs> he just thought about this shit again. <laughs> I told you. I know this nigga. Yeah, I don't want everybody to know. We were talking about women. We were talking about ladies. <laughs> we were talking about ladies. <laughs> ladies. I did say, I did say people, though. People. 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 He said people. He said people. I said people. So you really Because I, I don't want to leave nobody out. I was about to say, you but can't be in the It don't have nothing to do with sexuality. I'm just saying, you ain't say nothing wrong. You just said you could leave. Somebody put it there. It ain't mine. There are people that put this. Said, we, man, that's said, everybody, we, right? We need them people. We <laughs> do. Because I'm not speaking for me, like, not no, us in this room. The people on the other side, side who don't put dicks in their mouth. <laughs> Dick owners need these people. That's fucked up. We got to go into this much depth yeah. to make sure. That no, we not offending nobody. We was clear. No, we were clear. Everybody today, I would do it. The fact that we have to do that is what's fucked up. Yeah, because we, like, we, we, we do it all the time. You we really gotta, do We got to be able to talk about okay. how okay. So say we got all the people, right? We don't know everything. But what I'm saying is if we got all the people, that's just the reality of our All the people who put dicks in their mouth on this side. All the people. Who don't <laughs> on this side? <laughs> Whoever on this side, yeah, I'm not listen. judging you, but all the people on this side. <laughs> I know that y'all accept that they do this. <laughs> right. We can let y'all know. We appreciate you I'm not saying I want y'all to stop this shit. I just think the whole concept of this shit is wild. <laughs> you there are right? some people who do that, and then there are some people who enjoy doing that. Right. Yeah. You and, and you enjoy. I enjoy. I, hey, 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 hey. It's some people that can't believe. That's how you got to do that way. Y'all ain't that shit. You know. know. You okay. I just understand. It's some people that can't believe that nigga put coochie lips on their face. They can't. And I'm the niggas on the side that accept coochie lips. Yeah. Oh, women well, judge us for eating pussy too. Yeah. Cause they know anywhere. what a vagina I really does. It. I don't give a fuck where it's at. I put pussy anywhere, bitch, on my knee. See? Anywhere. You oh, saying that now? Head, shoulders, knees, toes. <laughs> put pussy anywhere. And that's exactly the point. You a pussy lover, so you have to be on this side. Yeah. But even the women who give you this pussy, they know they're like. If you knew what a vagina really be doing <laughs> when ain't no fucking going on, right. you wouldn't be so happy to do all that goddamn dancing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, I'm here to tell a bitch, I don't give a fuck what you been through. I've been through some shit too. <laughs> right. <laughs> Put it on my face. You don't <laughs> cry. You saying that shit now, but you don't know pussies to other duties. Yes, I do. Because you got nasty bitches that still try to do it at the red light. Man, we out of life, oh Jesus God. Christ, these niggas. I guess we got about nine other jobs besides this. I like these niggas, like these niggas. Like these niggas. Like these niggas. got me sitting here talking about the pussy's other Why jobs. Why <laughs> Red light, this, I can't wait to read the comments. The comments gonna be crazy. Oh my God. It's a bitch who, 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 who don't mind fucking at the red light. She be like, oh, oh. We're not straight. judging nobody. You can't king shame. Yeah. Right? No, of course not. Do you have a problem with that? Like, do you find yourself censoring yourself on stage? Hell no. You must ain't never watch her. <laughs> no, I'm just asking. I've watched her plenty, but I'm just saying, you know, because she like, don't you, like, censor you say shit. The shit that you don't say, that you could say, that you know you could, like, I can take this bitch. I'm working the, on it. Like, whatever it is that I feel like I left level. out, I go back and I rewrite. I don't give a fuck anymore because it doesn't matter. Like, it, like I was on the Breakfast <laughs> Club last week. I said. <laughs> I, when they asked me about Joe Rogan, I said, black people, sh nobody should be able to tell black people what they can be offended by. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a word that's connected to trauma and pain for black people. And I don't think that I, as a Puerto Rican person, Puerto Rican, Dominican, Afro, Latina, whatever you want to call me, I don't have a right to say, hey man, don't be, he cool, you should be all right with him saying that. Because some people did do that. Right. Man, they came for me talking about because I said black. That's one thing that black people own that 
belongs to them, whether they reappropriate it, whether you want to say it or not, right. is something that only black people should be able to say, mm -hmm. right? Because it, it's connected to their trauma and pain. Oh my God, this lady sent me a sermon. You know, you, um, you I can't, um, I can't believe white? you can. No, uh -huh. it's the black people. You condone black. She probably white with a black I profile. I just said it, it's not my place. You know what I mean? Black white people. people with black profiles. I can't believe you. Well, said. let me oh, say something yeah. to all the black people. You be like, yeah, I don't give up. a fuck how cool you think somebody else is. If you think these white people not out here saying nigga in their free time, <laughs> you got life fucked up. That's what I heard. Somebody oh, told me, he said, show me a white man that hasn't said the word nigga and I'll show you a toddler. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre Nicole. Now, y'all know the For Richer For Poor tour is going on, and we had to come home with it. Had to come home. Carly mm -hmm. home, but always bread Period. So, July 9th, we gonna be at House of Blues, y'all. The one House of Blues. Like, ain't that crazy, y'all? We gonna be at House of Blues. And y'all, let me tell y'all something. We have some special guests that are coming to the Houston show. Y'all are not gonna wanna miss this. Some performances. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So the show starts at 8 p.m. So get your tickets right now at poorminds.com. The VIP, y'all know everything gonna sell out. So get y'all tickets right now. Don't complain if you miss out, cause we told you. Mm -hmm. Hey! <laughs> no cap. They said at the crib. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, and that's the thing that um that for me is like hmm. where, where I grew up, everybody said it, right? Because we were all told that that's black. we were all right. We, th my my whole family is like very. If you look at some of my relatives, you wouldn't know that they were Puerto Rican. You just think they just regular American black people. Mm -hmm. You look at my family; it's just a bunch of niggas. <laughs> they not even black people. They, we couldn't even take a nice, good black people family photo. It's gonna be niggas grabbing their dick and shit. And <laughs> cousin all bent Same. over from the back. <laughs> I had a whole bunch of old folks in my family. You know there was some slave niggas. My family niggas. ghetto and project and country. Dirt road shouted. Yeah, we got a few bougie motherfuckers, but they they just as terrible as the rest of us. <laughs> Talking about terrible. Yeah, I don't have no bougie people. <laughs> you the word no, like I'm terrible. My family is all the crooks and the motherfuckers, man. Hey, let, you know what? Um, do you censor yourself? No. Do you find yourself? I mean, There's no point anymore. It doesn't matter what you say. You're gonna offend somebody. somebody. I mean, I, I, I also I, I can't don't censor myself. But it's a lot of shit I, I don't say. Keep, in, keep in mind that you have to, have to be. I keep in mind that the element of the world that we live in today, like you gotta be understanding that people are a whole lot more soft in regards to what they're offended by today than it was, you know, 10, 15, 20 mm -hmm. years ago. And I think that's just because we gotta, it's so easy to get everything now. You got all the answers in your pocket. You got, you know, everything that you need, you can access immediately versus back then you had to get up and go out and get shit and go <laughs> do stuff. So it made you not give a fuck about mm -hmm. things so easily. Comedian boundaries be funny as hell. I just had to walk to the grocery store in a snowstorm. Fuck what this dude talking about. But now that you get to sit in the house and watch everything immediately, people just, you know, get offended so easily because that, like now their opinions count offended. everywhere. You still not comfortable with, with what you do. Yeah. <clears throat> but if you do a comedy show, let's go. Let's say you go to the improv, right? And mm -hmm. you take that the mindset of you don't want to offend anybody in a marginalized group. So now you're not making fun of black people. You're not making fun of Latinos. You're not making fun of Asian. You're not. You're. You don't have. You can't say anything about uh, queer people. You can't say anything about disabled people. All you're gonna do is an hour of comedy making fun of white men. No, I've every time everybody. I've done I've a show myself, so and it's been like some disabled people in there. <laughs> they they love be, they when you make it. like they, they want. Be it's a right man. and a wrong way to do that shit. Yes, it's you don't make fun of being a comedian. You don't make fun of without being offensive. You make them laugh at their trauma. You make them let them know like, hey man, they want to know that you can relate to them. It ain't gotta be their trauma. It's just acknowledgement. Yeah, oh, you know some shit about me. Facts. Oh, you know some shit about Ethiopia? Right. They want to be they included. Ethiopia? Yeah. Oh, you yeah. know some shit about uh, yeah. motherfucking Americans, Georgia? Right. Yeah. Them motherfuckers gonna fuck with you from that, like... Don't that yeah. be the best shit? You talk about some random shit. I'm talking about the most random shit crazy mm -hmm. ever. You can be like, man, I met a dude with a fake hand, and it was a little bit <laughs> in green. And then somebody come up to you at the show, like, I know that dude with that little green <laughs> <laughs> They or think it's a joke, dude. but... Dude, yeah. Or they be like... <laughs> 
<laughs> Told y'all don't <laughs> come see him. Hey, we done had that before. Hey. A couple times. Oh, oh, God. Hold up. Baby, you know, she had, she was like, get what, what? She we, I'm like, oh, don't do that. She made it move. I said, hey. <laughs> And that nigga fly kept making her whip it out saying, wham. <laughs> but that's the thing about it. All comedians have boundaries, man. No. The most disgusting comedian could be talking about some most terrible shit. Somebody from the audience be like, what about Joe Biden? Hey, 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 hey. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. I, whoa. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do politics. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So let me just finish telling you about this Russell Trump on. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. This nigga said the rusty trombone. That's hilarious, but it's true. Where okay. you draw your line? Whoa, whoa, whoa. So it's just like you ain't gonna go on stage, like you said, at the improv and say Some fuck people. these people and all this shit. Your whole set is just trash in the club, bitch. Mm-hmm. You know better than that shit. Some people lying is the real shit. Some people only do made up shit. Or a character. I'm glad or, comedians you know don't be that. too real, though. You know how many mm-hmm. shit, it just be so hacked. Yeah, yeah. If depressing. motherfuckers all came on stage and really told you what they was just doing. So I'm in the bathroom, I done locked the door. I'm hitting the coke before I come out here because I didn't make y'all. You'll be doing drugs with your best friend, the next thing you know, y'all taking y'all shirt. Oh, never mind. <laughs> he said, so I'm in the back hitting the coke before I come out here because I can't face y'all. I'm in the bathroom hitting the coke and right. getting hurt. I'm talking about some of that good shit. I got it from my man, Scotty. He, he sell coke. He work, it, he work it, but he sell coke to all the comics. <laughs> they, they, I mean... And we need them comedians too. We need to find comics too, right? So I'm living upstairs from this liquor store. Yep. <laughs> one bedroom studio. That's the um Rent Able 165, but I'm I'm behind four months. I'm flexing. <laughs> this ain't that's real. Funny though. They're real that life. might be great. No, I didn't hear the funny shit when motherfuckers got real. I forget who it was, but Buddy was in L.A. And he oh, said, you said a meltdown on stage? Well, no, he was saying he was homeless. He was living in the car. And he tried to talk to this girl. <laughs> And she was homeless too in her car, but he was like, she was in a Jeep, so I guess she was higher up. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I forget who said it, man. Shout out for most fucked up real story I heard from a comedian on stage, this nigga, his baby mama had a new baby. And they broke up. And he was still staying there. And her boyfriend moved in. Oh, damn. How bad that? that nigga need somewhere to go? That's all good. Damn. damn. He said the nigga is there. Remember the guy from Mastery of Comedy that I couldn't stop laughing at when he said he got out of jail, his girlfriend left him? I don't know why. That I was, was on camera. But the way he said it, he was doing his set, I that was, was on camera. Angela he was like, you got to stop laughing. I could not. He said, so I just got out of jail. My baby mama left me. And I started crying because the way he said it, I was laughing so hard. And that's what I told him. That's the way you started. Oh, that was your mentee. Yeah, that was your I told mentee. Him, look. That's the type of shit can't nobody steal. Don't nobody even want to touch that shit. Right. Mm-hmm. Don't even put yourself in that position. He was and, and it really set the really tone. Good. He was very funny. Like, you really thought she was going to stay? <laughs> you went to jail, not her. But for you to leave once I get out, that's fucked up. You could have left me while I was still in there. No. She didn't need some time to... That's she just told you, you leave. Leave. Nah, you go wait till I get out to see me, to uh, tell me in the physical you don't fuck with me no yeah. more. You couldn't yeah. have hit me with you the are, You're an ungrateful nigga, bro. <laughs> you out of jail. Last thing you want to yeah. be is in a relationship, nigga. You don't see what else out here now. Don't tell. Yeah. You she did that start nigga over. <coughs> Reset button. Please leave me at your earliest convenience. Ex con is in high demand in these streets. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be no. You get when you get out of jail and you you been in there for a little minute. You ain't got but about. Six or seven months to really just give out good jail dick. If you don't, if you don't get nothing out of that, then you just wasted going to jail. <laughs> this nigga say you got seven months of good jail dick. You got it. seven months, so you can really just right here and go out here and change your legs, go crazy. Uh, these, women, these women go crazy over some j- fresh out of jail. Mm. That shit like new what? one, baby. Mm. That's the type. That's like uncooked dope to them. They love that shit. I'm no, over here like a free range dick. Game. See? Yeah, yeah. I ain't my dick at A. I don't know about that. <laughs> fresh hey, out of jail. Said, yeah, that, um, that, you don't like gotta, thugs no more? Nah, not fresh out of jail, though. We got to make sure you didn't. Yeah, you just uh, readjust it to you, society. Yeah. You go take this nigga to dinner. This nigga yeah. over the plate like this. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> or <laughs> right. see how, how long he was in there, what he was willing to compromise. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. Right. You can just yeah. listen to a nigga lingo maybe, and maybe tell how long he's been in jail. Just jail game. Just, just listen crazy. to what a nigga's saying and just tell how long he's <laughs> yeah, been in jail. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. You go to jail like that. I mean, shit. I got to go to jail. Remember in that, like, that, that <laughs> second episode, the second episode of Atlanta when they were in jail? You ain't got no choice. What do I do? Nigga ain't even been in there. Nigga ain't even been in there an hour. Well, I ain't got no choice. Bruh, how do like how did that process happen? When did that change happen? Well, you, here we go. You just straight. You already went. You went. You went. Who I need to talk to? Right. Who I need to talk to? Go ahead. Go ahead. Man. I'm still nervous. <laughs> no, it's it's like, man, these niggas, niggas is wild. Fuck, man. you go on a date in jail? What a day? Like, look, man, I ain't used to this, man. What are we supposed to do to start to get to know each other, bro? Like, what's up? That's funny. Shit, hey, you know what line you in, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Back to yeah, I bet. Oh, we got another one. That hey, man, you don't want to go. You don't want to go set your bed up first? No, I'm just going to go in here. You said, niggas, this is jail. Hey, man, how we supposed to do this shit? Like, I'm supposed to eat by you? Yeah, that's funny. Stop, man. The niggas in jail gonna be watching this shit and be leaving comments. No, it don't necessarily go like that. <laughs> when I get out, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Shut up. Man, Shut let up. a nigga be outside in 2075. <laughs> Keep that same energy. In 2075. When everybody's black and brown. Bro, you know how funny yeah, that is? Fucking learns a nigga threat you from jail. <laughs> nigga, you better not be nowhere around when I get out in 2062, nigga. I'm on your head, you <laughs> bitch ass nigga. You're like, bro, that's bird. Bro, 40 years now. Shut your ass up. <laughs> These here jail. Yeah, Great, because right. niggas really be sitting there and then that time really Look. sit in. That, that Got two weeks. <laughs> I've been here for two weeks, might as well. <laughs> this shit crazy. <laughs> hey, that is, uh, you better write that. Bro, when that, that shit, so damn funny. when that shit really set in. He said I've been in here two days. Can you yeah. imagine a nigga just went to court <laughs> today? When in Rome. They just gave him a fresh 20 <laughs> no, years. Let's not put that in there. A fresh 20. That nigga just did the first night of a 20. The first night. He went to court earlier today. That's what niggas tell me, man. My my people's always used to tell me, man, uh, you only do two days in jail. The day you go in, the day you get out. The rest of that shit is No, fuck the rest of that. Nigga, you do that in the middle, too. He said, nigga, you don't even think about it. The only day that that matter, that that first night and that last one. I don't think motherfuckers tell you about the the bad part. I mean, you know, you see some of the jail shit, but you got to hear from the motherfuckers actually there. You got to be... You gotta get your knife game up. Well, you gotta turn into mm-hmm. wolf that's ring a, around. That's a show though, Lo. Depending what? on where you first go. First two weeks yeah, of the sentence. Woo! You wanna see weeks. everybody the first two weeks of their sentence. Man, but how long the sentence gotta be though? You know what I mean? It gotta be like, it's your battle. What? Man, Nick Judge are getting 15. You don't wanna see a nigga do the first two weeks of a four week sentence, nigga. That's <laughs> but that's funny too, man. You wanna see how he trips. Trying to give me four weeks, man. That's like, right. That's your ass. That's your ass. That's your ass. When you think about it. He's in there, man. I can't believe it. Jail. Jail. You, you got to go to jail. And you got to go do a month in jail. You oh, my God. I think we got too many shows about jail. It is. It's too many shows. Mm-hmm. We good. Let's, we don't no, want to showcase this shit. Because I feel like, man, I feel like we don't. We don't want to showcase Like, we can't. You know, we really can't say shit no more. Like, But I feel like we should be able to shame prisoners. Like, they should be the ones. Like, all this shit they want comedians to stop, stop saying, all the shit that'll get you canceled, I feel like they should be able to be the butt of all our jokes. What you mean? So the like, people who committed crimes? Yes, man. They shouldn't be able to have no opinion about Pedophiles. shit. Right. The, all of them. They don't have an opinion, do they? they um, do, I'm just they? saying. And they be trying to come out and be different people. Like, no, my boy, you a pedophile. Oh, so not them. Like, they they not, that shit, yeah. They not getting out. out. Fuck them. They not getting out. I'm just Something talking about motherfuckers who did Some regular people did. Sex offender that registered. Nigga that got you got hold up, nigga. You all registered sex offender. You got to go to for two and a half years. <laughs> yeah. You stay by Kroger. How that? Oh, yeah. That, what's the, the website? Watchdog. Watchdog.org. No, you you put your zip you code your and it tells you where all the sex you all the shit. Are. That's crazy. Oh, I try to keep my energy protected. You did. Y'all watch your kids. No you cap. have to make it. That's the thing. Do you have children? 
Yeah, I have to. Why you look like that? You wouldn't do that? You wouldn't? I would always want to. I always wanted to know. My friend oh, did it. Who was around so you could know who to, you know, who to watch. My friend did it and she lived right across. It's a list? From a, yeah. It just shows you, you like all the dots of all the sex offenders. <laughs> where, 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 that, where, that, where that website at? Watch, watch, watch be that. Damn, that. I'd be yeah. naked though to a motherfucking sex offender. Yeah. No, nah, you know, you know, a lot of times they they supposed to notify you. They gotta tell people if they in the area. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, door. but like, I ain't going on no website. Like, like, like if your homies with you, oh, they gotta come. They supposed to come yeah, I on your door and tell you your sex what no, you but you really have that in the motherfucker knock on your door. I just oh, think about how much time done changed, man. <laughs> then they got to come knock on your door and tell you this. <laughs> yeah. Because I grew up in a yeah, time where it's like, do. Like, like it's your whole life. You know, with all that type of hey, shit. Hey, how you doing, bro? So, but then it's like you think about like, old neighborhoods, and it was always like a neighborhood freak. Yeah, we knew exactly where they were. You know what I'm saying? Like. Right. We knew exactly where they were. knock on the door and run away from that motherfucker and stand out. Don't go over there. Yeah. Sure. And yeah. then they would yeah. always do some weird shit to I'm remind so sure. you that, like, like show up behind the house. What y'all doing? Ah! Some shit you gotta jump on your bike. Man, Freaky Fred got that Some shit they're not supposed to even. Some shit that you would laugh about it. Hey man, remember that time you spent nine on my house? Some Freaky Fred chased us up the street. Hell yeah, he was running past the shit. You can start crying. You remember you almost shit on yourself? Grandma whooped you. Freaky Fred got out. You remember that weekend Freaky Fred got out? <laughs> Freaky Fred. You remember that shit? Freaky Fred sound like a nigga with a trench coat. You, because we was playing baseball behind the house. And he creeped up behind you. And he kept you, and you, you, and you cried. You remember that shit? <laughs> that shit fucked up. Everybody had one of them little Freaky Fred. It was always a creep in the next world. That shit fucked up. I think about growing up in the 80s all the time. Like, you know how, like, <laughs> I remember this. I know y'all remember this too. Maybe you Clay. Motherfuckers used to always say, don't stare at people. Yeah. Yeah. That was always a thing. Yeah. But then you would go to like the grocery store or Walmart and you would see people, not necessarily with disabilities or some shit, yeah. but it would be something that you never seen before and you would be just intrigued as a kid, supposed to be. So you're like, you're not staying to be rude. It's just some shit you never seen right. before. Like, I remember the scariest yeah. motherfucker that I seen when I was a kid. The motherfucker who didn't have a hand, he had just a hook. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't see that type. You when the last time you seen a motherfucker with a hook? Nigga, nigga real hook. Candy man, nigga. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> you seen it with an hook? And then it's like you go to your cousin in some house and they be like, you know that man with the hook? He stay over there. Oh. He hate little kids. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and all the people in the neighborhood like, don't go over. You know he don't like kids. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, don't stare at people. I used to get in trouble for that shit all the time. Because when you go, you remember you used to go to the restaurant and they had a smoking section? You know, baby, you could say smoking or non smoking. Mm -hmm. Nigga, whenever we were sitting in the smoking section trying to eat, nigga, I'd just be staring at people smoking cigarettes. Like, Stop looking at motherfuckers. Oh my. Yeah, they that's fair. Well, don't do it on the train. Because <laughs> in New York, they pull their dicks out on you when you Whoa! Stand up. Oh, that's a, that's the thing right there. In Whoa. New York? What? See, that's why you need them people caught on the train, about. the subway. Put it in their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, another motherfucker I saw when I kid and just scared the shit out of me. And they their dicks, too, like. Oh, nigga, they, they got a nose. Oh, they do that for ladies. Yeah, we sending y'all First time pig. I saw a motherfucker didn't have a nose. He's true. Scared oh, the shit out of me. Yeah, that was Fuck you Because I was, I was a kid, and that I was looking. Up too. I and they knew that I was looking because he stuck his tongue out, and he did like this. Aww. I bullshit you now. I bullshit you now. <laughs> this is shit that I've really seen. The freak, that's traumatic. <laughs> <laughs> that's traumatic. That's cold. It's traumatic. That's cold, bro. That's a true story. He had to know that he took his tongue out. That nigga took his tongue That man he had a hole in his mouth too. Bro. It was just <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know. How the fuck he do that? <laughs> Yo, you shit got to be That nigga low seen an alien, bro. That's funny, bro. I'm not going to sleep well tonight. Oh, my God. I've seen some shit. creepy as fuck. I have definitely seen some shit, bro. Yeah, the people with no nose. I've seen one before. I've yeah. one with no nose before. Well, I mean, they have the nostrils, but they nah, it was just You know what? When I was a child, like we used to right have this, uh, and I hope she's still alive, too. We used to have this young, blind girl. She was young, but she was blind, so I ain't never seen nobody young and they was blind. Mm. But she was known in the gospel world for singing, and her eyes was great. And my mama used to always make me speak to her. And I used to be like, I do not want to. Because I didn't understand that somebody couldn't see. And they was 
and their eyes was gray. And she's touch on me and she's like, oh, this your son. Yeah, I remember him. Oh, how you doing? Oh, you getting big. And I was like, mm. <laughs> I'm just gonna take that one. Oh, I got another one for you. Blind when I used when I was growing up, it was, was this like lady. Six. Yeah, that's she used to talk real loud. And she would always like repeat herself. And then I, I asked my like I asked my grandma or some shit, why'd she do that? And they were like, oh hell, boy, you know she can't hear. She can't hear a damn thing. I was like, what you mean? I'll be talking to her. She can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't even know. She, I ain't she had no had idea. Good answer. She had good. She used to read lips. Boxes. That's uh, crazy. Oh, yeah. Cause it wasn't like, she, no, was she, she had you. went deaf. She wasn't. I don't get. I mean, accident. So mm. she would respond to you when you talk to her. It's best she could. That's yeah. what I said. She would always repeat us. That's that be crazy. Cause anytime somebody <clears throat> disabled, some enhances. And when I say that girl knew how to sing like, and she knew what she was doing mm. as a young age, twelve, saying about God and. And having faith, they didn't even trip, she was blind. She was you know what you'll never see preach. no more? That's I remember beautiful. like in the mid 80s with the big shit was, it was all these like kid pastors. You don't see no kid pastors no more. <laughs> Hell no. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> you remember the, 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 the kid pastor boom? Like 1990? <laughs> pastor boom. He is an apostle. He said he'd been to heaven one time when he was four. <laughs> he been no, preaching since he was three years old. <laughs> he led a whole son. He got a church now when he was nine. What? He what nine that? with a church? <laughs> <laughs> they got a playground in but the basement. <laughs> uh, Whatever happened to all them people who won them sweet steaks and shit? Uh, Publishers Clearinghouse and all them people. Like, whoever won. Have you ever met somebody? No, nope. I've never I used to always love nope. little shit that's I've at the grocery store. I've never met somebody where I always used to watch them commercials. The like, never. You know what I mean? I just want to win a lottery. They quit. <laughs> yeah. I want to see a I documentary. 146,000. I want to see a documentary that's about people who got fucked in a timeshare deal. I'm talking about them million people who bought a timeshare. People who got fucked in a timeshare deal. That bitch still, they still down on the beach trying to sell that motherfucker. Who? She was gone. She wanted to teach it. She was like one of them paralegia type motherfuckers, like in the She wanted a lawsuit? No, nah, she just hit. And she was in up. The she was, hit the lottery. lottery. She was like, Jun -Jun, I, I remember this shit like it was yesterday. She was cool here. She was like, hey, Jun Jun, let's hear with you. It's the last time you go see me. I hit lottery. Don't tell nobody. 146,000. Damn. I'm out this bitch. I'm like, you for real? I bet you won't see me tomorrow. She came to work every day. I had a show one time. It was this dude. He was like a damn drug addict. He fuck around and won. He won the lottery for a couple of M's. Yeah. He had about 30 motherfuckers with him. Everybody who used to be like on the shit with him, he would send everybody to rehab. The nigga had bought like this big ass van, took everybody everywhere. The nigga was living ghetto dreams. See, there was a professor shit. that, well, a football coach and slash professor that worked at my college. He hit the lottery twice, nigga. Hit one time for like 1.2, then hit another time for like three, four hundred thousand. After that, nigga hit that Damn. bitch twice. I gotta start playing that shit. Mm -hmm. No, you don't. That I shit always say that every time I see hit. somebody win. Man, uh, we don't never see nobody. It, they be in there like, man. We don't be winning that shit. They be thinking the whole white people. I feel like, 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 like if you want to win the lottery, you gotta go buy your ticket in one of them places that like people that be winning live at. But you gotta think about we've been doing the numbers. Small ass, nowhere ass towns in the middle of nowhere. Go get your ticket from there. You got a better shot of winning that way. We started the numbers. They took yeah. it from us and said it was illegal, and then all of a sudden he go the library. You like the same shit. Well, we're gonna play their version of it. It's but most safe. Those people play every day for years when it hits. They just play the same numbers over and over and over and over. I'm gonna start playing they give that me, shit. They give me some die. <clears throat> That's lottery my, too. I take my chance with the die. Come on, man. Let's I'm gonna start that shit. I'm gonna give me a little gambling addiction. Mm -mm. Ooh. Mm. Don't, don't do it. I'm telling you, the lottery is a dick. Because once you play it, you be like, I think I can hit tomorrow. That's something you gotta already have. Yeah, yeah, you gotta do that. Straight box? Don't work your way into that one. <laughs> <laughs> you be on there, you be in line like, let me get 411 straight box. Please. Nah, because even when you get a little gambling addiction, man, you always win a little bit too, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm chasing those highs. Fuck the lows. I got to scratch out right now. I still ain't scratched out this. See, you don't want to win, baby. Oh, somebody enough. I knew just won, like, they won like $50,000 on a scratch off. For real. Mm -hmm. They, they, they print out like 30 million of them, and one of them really had 50,000. And then you they print out another 30 million, and this one may have 10,000 in it. I won $1,000 on scratch off before. How much? You won how much? 1000 
I you gotta go online. Most I want five from whatever I state you buy the ticket. I always <laughs> went two dollars and just use it to buy another stretch off ticket. Mm, that's fucked up. <laughs> that's it. You gotta go online and buy that shit. You gotta look and see what prizes have been given out. Cause you be buying a scratch off and all the big prizes are already gone. Yeah, it's a 1.5 million, but it'll show you it's two 1.5 million dollar prizes. They're already gone. Ain't no point in buying this one. Mm. So it tells you what games got what shit winning. You just go to the lottery website. What would oh, what, any state? Didn't this nigga yeah. just say he got the right answers at the right time? Uh, <laughs> this yeah. nigga said he was waiting too. He like, I'm just gonna let him know. Keep going. I like the confidence of people who play the lottery. Mm -hmm. I just hate when you be behind them in, in that line. Yeah. They so Whoa. serious about them goddamn numbers. Man, let me get they 30, 20, 20, 65. 62. Right. Uh, for yeah. 44. Hold on, hold on. Make sure you got that number right now. What's your birthday? Yeah. Okay. What's little my birthday? <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> well, you don't need to pen shit no more, dude. The pencil hold shit on, no more. Hold on, hold on. What, you got, what oh. hospital room was my grandma in? Yeah. <laughs> 917. 917. <laughs> what what you say your birthday was? Uh, okay. I'll be through in just a minute, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, still, they still got a pencil shit? Nah, the, the pencil, pencil shit, I don't, you don't see them no more. You don't see them all the pencil shit no more? What, what's this about? Which one is that? Like, like the, the pencil, like, they feel like the scans yeah, on shit. Like, 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 oh, yeah, 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 they do it electronically now, right? Yeah, because I don't need to be in there like, damn, I don't fuck that one up. Get that another one. Shit. Yeah. If it's a little pencil too, it ain't even had a no race on it. A little half a pencil, no race on that motherfucker. That's why you gotta start over because they ain't got no erasers on them bitches. <laughs> you see them numbers now? It's the blackjack table for me. That's my. The who that's blackjack, my blackjack table? Yeah. Blackjack table. Oh, yeah, that's blackjack. my vice. Blackjack is on drunk. Oh, I got the old one. Nah, I can't. I see so that nigga running up on blackjack. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. If I'm drunk at the blackjack. I, I know how to I get out it. though. That's the that's the difference. I Me was too. in Connecticut at Mohegan Sun. I was Listen. up, 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 and out. Yep, that's that roulette table. Do. Whenever I hit, I hit, I hit a couple Some times. Old school. I'll be gone. Once I I'm get my first there. earnings, seven fifty, eight hundred, whatever. Not I, I, I hit for. Because you see people with the cigarette, table. with the drink, sweat. Yeah. Nah, they were yeah. up, all the chips, and now all the chips are gone. The most interesting motherfucker at the casino is the person on the oxygen tank or the nigga in the oh, hospital yeah. bed. <laughs> oh, man. The motherfucker be right there at the hospital bed, cat corner, hitting that yeah. button. Hitting that button. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> the oxygen tank. Let me try to pick all the hands in between you push me. <laughs> the oxygen tank hitting the cigarette. Oh, the cigarette smoking, yeah, man. Yeah, they be hitting the cigarette on the oxygen tank. Pulling the goddamn joint. Pen it's the slides. people that be at the gas station hitting the, hitting the uh, what them shits is in the back? Oh man, the little cash machine. Yeah, yeah. 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 I seen a nigga laughing the other night. He old like, niggas oh. all addicted to them uh, bitches. He said, "My old lady would have kept me if I would have came home with nothing." Uh, I'm about lad twenty. Hey, nine hundred dollars. I'm like, well, you want nine hundred dollars back there? And you know the funniest ones who be playing that shit though? <laughs> the people who actually got jobs and then they go home and then change. And, and then put their little weekend shit on and come up there <laughs> and, and go then and sit in the gas station all day. And sit up yes. in that bitch all day like they really had, I'm talking about yeah, behind they, the drinks that they, they ain't put in the cooler yet. They got some shit called the fish tables now motherfuckers be at. You ever seen them little spots, the little mm -hmm. look like hole in the wall, they got like lot, you know, gaming on the front of them. They oh, got yeah, to call yeah, the yeah, shit yeah, yeah. like a little gambling joint. They call them fish tables. Motherfuckers going there and being there all night Playing long, cards and shit, that shit, they be playing they, all kind of card all games. Kind of ga I went to one of those in Seattle back in the day. This shit's what crazy. Is it? A card house. Oh, a card. Well, <laughs> I want to gamble house myself. You I want to? No, 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 no. I ain't saying like that. I don't. Only for my friends. Reese already know. How we, I, she already know how we get down. But we gamble regardless. Oh, we'll yeah, turn yeah. your house to the gambling house. Nigga, fuck with your house. Man, we brought cards, chipboard, dice. What you want to do? Gang, man? <laughs> man, what else? Make what you want to do, shit man? Like life, come on. For you funky motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be around no kids while I'm shooting. <laughs> For real. Man, what? The the kids don't take me. I don't bet women. Nope. What? You I don't, don't? I don't bet women. What does that mean? Because you don't gamble lose. with women. I don't gamble with women. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't bet women. I don't gamble. I'll gamble with Because you going to lose. Yeah, I'm going to lose. You know who I don't gamble with? Noob. Fat dudes. I'm, I'm, I'm breaking that shit. 
Mm. Them the luckiest motherfuckers, man. I don't know. I can see. It's an Asian, the little I, Asian I ladies. I don't know. Anytime you gamble, anytime you gamble with, gamble with, this nigga, you you gamble with a fat well. dude, you they gonna start off losing. You gonna be all the way up, <clears throat> and then in the middle point, that shit gonna change. You can't gamble a nigga who money <clears throat> longer than yours at that moment, yeah. cause he has. I'm telling you, it's that, he had all day to lose. Mm -hmm. You ain't got that much. You gonna you win? You don't have all day to win, though. Right, you ain't got all day to win. You gonna win something, and guess what? You gonna get tired, buddy. And that little streak gonna That's run That's when the bets go up. The yep. bets go up. Cause you could be like, he a sucker. I don't got all day to do this shit. Run the money up. Then by the time the money ran up, all your luck has run out. You gone. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's the people who play the games that like what is pinochle? Like those people win. I don't know what that shit those is. Those games yeah. at the casino that you never even you like. That those are games that your grandfather have to teach you how to play. Back to rank and they, all that. They, they yeah. win. They What's the win. What's the one that we fuck with? Gut. Not gut. The, the one with the numbers and shit. Oh, that's roulette. Yeah, roulette. Roulette. Yeah. Oh, roulette. But, but, roulette. But, yeah, roulette like, motherfuckers right. that I respect is the ones that go to them horse races and be at the horse race all day. Mm. Oh, we learn how to do that shit. That shit mm. crazy. Yeah. That's you can hard. win. You can win, win on the horse race whether your horse win or not. Yeah. Yeah. You can bet that the horse gonna lose. Yeah. They yeah. they cover all bets. All you can bets. bet anything. Just like right. they got a motherfucker who projected to win. They got a and the horse got a backstory. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He shit on his trainer last week. Yeah. 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 Clay, yeah. Tell the one you know. he shits before he leaves his he leaves the stall. He broke a record last Wednesday in practice trials. Mm -hmm. Niggas like, all right, well, what he look like today? Mm -hmm. you got, <clears throat> that shit man. get live out there. Man, you just put that's your money up. That's crazy that those entities cheering. can have those organizations and do that, but we can't. But see, that's the thing about it. If you really gamble like that, you uh -huh. start you learning the, the lingo. They be Come telling on. you what to bet on. You don't even know what to put, like, put the money on there unless you know the codes that they be saying, hey, he's looking better than he's ever looked. Yeah, but isn't that yeah. so, it's spontaneous? It's unpredictable, right? Trifecta. Them horses are, if it's hot, if it's... It's, it's right. You can't really tell because the sorry motherfucker might come out and beat him. But they show, they show them. They bring them out in front of you. See, you look at them, and some of them look nervous. It's some of them look skinny. Also. Some of them motherfuckers come out there and look like, I don't give a fuck about none of this shit. And you like, give me, give yeah, me that. that the what, from the yeah. way that they were showing us how to do the <laughs> bet. When it happened, nigga. You like, damn, that motherfucker looks strong. But it's that about, slow <laughs> it's a whole lot of different shits that you can bet on. Nick caught a cramp halfway through. <laughs> it ain't just about who wins. <laughs> fuck that shit. <laughs> Yeah, I respect the horse races, man, all the way. But see, to somebody like Fly, you can't gamble with Fly, because this nigga, this Come nigga on. get to winning, and even if he don't get to winning, nigga, if he lose, he gonna destroy something in the vicinity of wherever you at. He gonna... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he like, bro, what the fuck? You just kicked the hole in my cabinet, my nigga. Ah, fuck that shit, my nigga. You straight. <laughs> like, I can't hit you. <laughs> <laughs> can he take it out of your cabinet? <laughs> they used to have dog races. Yeah, great. They still, they still, do, they they still do that. They got dog tracks. The white yeah. ladies let them do that? Yeah. yeah. The green oh, ladies do that. I saw it. 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 I saw and they got dogs? electronic horse races too. Yeah, they got electronic dog Electronic horse. Horse. But I've never seen nobody actually own a greyhound though. A real dog, have, a you real don't go take park right. enough. It's a, it's a yeah, great thing. Like, they got the little ones, the little bro. Italian ones. And oh, they look, it's yeah, a bunch of those. Italian ones, the they got them whippets. Yeah, they're like little. So the greyhounds greyhound genetically, they're just in a genetic. But then you got to keep them. It's a few different breeds of greyhounds, too. All of them don't look like. The, the race kind. That's what I'm saying. She Ain't a great thing. Hey, what was a great name? Look that big ass. That's that big ass one. That's that big ass one. Well, a great thing is bigger than that. Really? Great thing bigger than that. Dog. Great Dane ain't tall as shit. Yeah. Yeah. Tall as shit. Scooby Doo, though. They don't yeah. live Scooby -Doo. long. No, Scooby Doo is a great Dane. Scooby Doo is a great Marmaduke. Scooby Doo was a great Dane? Yeah. Marmaduke was a great Dane. Hey, y'all gonna fuck. Nah, Scooby Doo was a great Dane. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 yeah.
Yeah, all those See, Chinese Mama dogs look like Scooby Doo. Like, food. Food. Hey, like the, the, the um, those Chinese dogs, they used to be food. Like the Sharpays, the Chow. Food, food. Oh, food right, for right, them. Right. They used to eat them. That's, that's a great day. Mama Duke look like Scooby Doo. That's a great day. The big one. That's a great day. Yeah. What's bigger, Damn. Great Dane or Saint Saint Bernard? A uh, Great Dane. Great, you know, great Dane. Oh. Big is the biggest. Oh. Dog. I thought yeah. a Great Dane had like a hunch in his back. No, nah, the Great Dane. Bro. And what's those big ass dogs? This nigga uh, thought the Great Dane was a camel. With the big <laughs> neck. <laughs> Mastiff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mastiff. Nigga got a chain for us all, so that's all this shit. Yeah. Look, look. <laughs> Boy, it's so many breeds of big ass What's dogs. What's the one that do that? Yeah, they, they got, got the black people that don't even know about. Man, them oh, all they got these oh, all those big, 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 big ass, ass whatever they call them. I saw one of those. Bro. I have never seen a dog that big before yeah, in my man, life. I saw that kind of dog. See, that's the thing. They got a mastiff that look like a fucking bear, nigga. Yeah, no, they got one that look like what, what, what you say which one? A mastiff. Oh, mastiff. Yeah. I thought it was a mastiff. Uh, uh, but he was, was talking about a Russian dog. Russian dog. I can't think of the name. But see, a Cane Corso is a mastiff. The Akita is a mastiff, too. No, no not Akita's. I know Akita's, oh. but it's a Russian dog. That's Japanese in that bitch. No, it is. I used to like the dog. I mean, the head on that bitch about that big, bro. I don't know what's up. It looked like the abominable snow. Yeah, exactly. I was like, what the fuck is that? I don't need none of this shit. I heard the ch... I'm gonna get me a, a, a cane. So I got a cane corso, but I'm gonna use him just to stud him. But I'm gonna give me a, a black cane corso, and I'm gonna do his ears and everything. Nah, fuck yeah, dude, I'm, I'm doing it too well in my life. I'm getting me a fucking border collar that look just like Lassie, and I'm naming it Lassie. A border collar that look like Lassie? Bro, I grew up watching Lassie in black and white. That's a collie, right? You remember, mm -hmm. like they would show like some some like in Technicolor ones. Then they would show like the old Lassie. Black and white. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nigga, you remember Flipper? Yeah. Yeah. White people had a What about Airbud? What, what was he? He was that a little retriever. retriever. You don't yeah. see them no more. They getting distinct, ain't it? Extinct. Extinct? A -a yeah. Yes, what extinct. I say, distinct? Distinct. But not. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, I saw yeah, one today. What, a, a, a golden retriever? A golden retriever. Mm -hmm. Now they breed and everything with a poodle, nigga. Get you oh, a golden yeah. doodle. People don't understand. These are birth defect <laughs> dogs. Your dog, dog, dog ain't gonna no live yeah. past yeah. five no years. Stupid ass. Those are popular. Doodle. We should get in the business. They got business. a pit doodle? We yeah. should get. Yeah. They got a pit doodle too? Yeah. A rock. We should get it's some pit doodles. It's called a. What is what they a call it? A doodle wilder? We should get some pit doodles. A pit doodle? Sell them to all the niggas in the B game. Pit boodles, pit boodles. Yeah, there you go. They gotta be big, cause they poodles bite. They they're known yeah. to bite. The big ones is good. The big ones will be on your ass. The little dogs aggressive. You damn they they have tear them, them by themselves. The Dalmatians have the worst bite. For real? The Dalmatians? And I was just saying, saying I want me a Dalmatian. Oh, they said well, they have the worst bite. For real? Man. Yeah, take them goddamn polka dots off. I get sick of seeing that motherfucker. You don't fuck with the dimension? Nah, dots. man. Put your shit on. You out here dressed all goofy and shit. No, this is crazy. You got a tiny chip, dog. Look at the pit doodle. Let's take a look at the motherfucker. Oh, he looked at that. Like, why y'all do this goofy ass shit to me, man? That's stupid shit. That shit don't look bad. That look bad. That nigga look like I ain't gonna eat it. That nigga got a pit bull head and a bull body, but that nigga like, Man, fuck this goof ass shit, man. But you know what a French is, right? Yeah. You know the the little dog, the pig, the pub dog, pug, the pug dog yeah. that's on uh, many black. Many black dog. Yeah. It's it's a pug dog and a and a massive. That is how, bro. Who hit who? The 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 <laughs> the, 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 the pug male hit different. the massive female. Oh, okay. Because right. people don't know that French bulldogs are birth defect dogs. I don't know what the fuck. And we just, they just killed all breed. Yeah, all dogs. And before you, know, they, you do they, it, they, they, they got their own breed. Get their genetic modifications, but yeah. I, I don't know how we got here, but, but we're it's here. A, but it's, it's interesting. It's interesting yeah. because yeah. it, it you get guys money have. too, though. Like, it's a big mini. Like, people love animals. You and started they just, this shit, The Mastiff and a um, pug. Uh, I'm pug. looking them all up. Tell you. Talk. Ask them for what a what pug, a French bulldog come from. A pug and a Mastiff. A Mastiff. You looked it up? Yes. A French bulldog. <laughs> the pug, yeah. Oh my God. The one to be like, what up, Jay? Oh my yep. goodness, <laughs> wait a minute, bro. It just looked like a boxer uh, now. You should have just got now, a boxer yeah. almost at that point. 
Them dogs smart as hell. That's what, crazy. Look, look, the look, oh, oh, that's, look how big and small this boy is. It's it's so it's so small. It's big oh and small God. at the same oh, time, bro. Dear. Why would you do that to that dog? <laughs> like, huh? Beetlejuice. It's a lot of movies. <laughs> big body, look head oh, ass dog. It's a lot of dog. Why are you seeing food? I'm like, what's this? It's funny that you brought up Beetlejuice because it's like now looking back. Just knowing what that movie was, man, that dude, Michael Keaton, was funny as a motherfucker. Well, he did it. Oh, right. he oh, yeah. He said that's his favorite movie he did. That right. shit was oh, Batman. hilarious, I like, I like man. Batman. He was, he was my favorite Batman. He was my too. favorite Batman, but man, that nigga was funny. Man, Beetlejuice was sitting out there on that little ass property with the nigga <laughs> smoking in that lawn chair. Beetlejuice? I'm the ghost with the most, babe. That nigga. <laughs> They're doing another one. Hey, that's well, where it goes. Mm -hmm. I feel like oh, they ain't got no right trouble to do with me. Oh, oh, that's going to be, that's going to be dope. You remember the Beetlejuice cartoon? Yeah, yeah. He was I had the Beetlejuice kid. game. Nigga. What about Pepper or, Ann? Or he, was to fuck, he was trying to fuck a young lady. That, that little girl was not of age. What? Who? Lydia? Beetlejuice. And Beetlejuice. He is a ghost. She was a teenager. He is a ghost. He was still trying to get mad. So he was still trying to throw something up. But hey. That, for ghosts or not. That facts. was inappropriate, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. He was in, trying to get, yeah, he was of, trying to marry her. Mm-hmm. With, no, with Nona Ryder. Mm-hmm, yep. That's so funny. They That's crazy. throw a lot of shit like that in those type of movies. He'd be like, yep, yeah, they can get away with that stuff. You well, ever you think know, about all the shit that we just grew up watching that we thought would be timeless that they secretly hiding now? Man, uh, so much, so much. What's hidden, man? With it, it lost okay. media. Check this out. Lost media. One of the oh, most popular shows, motherfucking Mr. Wizard. Oh, yeah. Old Mr. white Wizard. man. You should just have I kids over his house that. doing science experiments. Mm -hmm. Mr. Wizard. Smart. <laughs> he should be a little dangerous, too. He'll, oh, he'll bust some shit on fire. He'll yeah. get that shit. He's static Real projects and shit. I remember Bill. Oh, it it always right. ended up with Mr. Wizard wanting to turn the lights off and show you something. <laughs> and Living Color wouldn't be able, can't be, couldn't be on right oh, now. Ain't no way. I was watching Living Color, the it racist realtor. Be. No. But ain't no way you can play that shit on TV now. No. Shit, ain't it's no real way, racist realtor. <laughs> I mean, like I'm saying, but the way that they did that sketch, you know what I mean? Men on film, bro, you can't. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, my God, no. Hey, man, this is one of my now. favorite sketches from the latest season. Of uh, in Living Color when Jennifer Lewis was on there, you remember that she was on there at the end. She was she was a cast member. Yeah, she had this character she used to do where she was the mama, but she was on the phone the whole time. Like she used to be on the phone all day, and like her kids would run up to her and ask her something, she'd be like. <laughs> but all through the sketch, she'd be on the phone. So even at night, it'll be like her husband here roll over. He was like, "Baby, that was great." Then she'll just pop up and be on the phone. But you have to look this shit yeah, up, man. Nah, she would literally be on the phone all day. <laughs> yeah, with Damon, Damon Wayans, man, on that motherfucker. Like, just the shit they do. Handyman? Oh, no. <laughs> you Ain't remember no when he had the little, the little lady was his sidekick? The, huh? the tiny, tiny, um, the tiny Avenger? Mm-hmm. She was the little, uh, she was the little person. Yeah, the little None homeless that. dude they that had the, the, the oh, shit yeah, to pick yeah, yeah. job. Hey, yeah. look, oh man, Man's you need to tell me you ain't got nothing you can give me, man. Do you know what I'm saying, man? Remember that? Oh, the, the, the strongest woman in the world. Can't do that, no more. Yeah. <laughs> that was Jim Carrey. That head detective was funny as hell when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. When I was a kid, that shit was so hilarious. Bro, when he bro. flipped him over and had to punt him. <laughs> <laughs> do it. David Allen Green. 1975. Yeah. David Allen Green is one of the funniest people on the planet. Man, that nigga's hilarious. Got a feeling like all that shit. Uh, his David guest Allen appearances Grizz, on sitcoms yeah, in the nineties so is my favorite. Oh yeah, he's of over there. All the comedians that did OG. guest appearances so in the nineties on sitcoms. David Allen Grill, man, don't get no better than Slim, man. Every time you seen him on anything, he was hilarious. Where His guest so role was hilarious. He was more smooth on Boomerang. But when they thought that he was bringing the jacket back, and he was like, did you think yeah. that he wore the jacket and stanked it up mm -hmm. to be damned mm -hmm. and brought it back? Like, who says that? He is brilliant, yo. His improv is yeah. just magnificent. And when he was Joe from... Uh, what was the, the principal? Lean on me? Mr. Oh, McAfee. Oh, Mr. Yeah. McAfee, yeah. Oh. With the uh, fake shoe. Uh. Mac, Mac, McAfee. <laughs> My favorite. 
That show used to go so hard every week. That's a good question. If it was any show that, as a comedian, like if you could have been on any show, what would you have picked to be on a cast member? Oh, you know, it would have been Martin. Martin, me too. Mm, I love it. that Time show. Travel. That's, that's, best, that's the best good. show in the world to me. Timeless, man. man. So funny. I can sit right here and watch Rebo. If anything on TV, if I see Martin, I don't give a fuck. It's a football game back. Uh, I'm finna watch me Martin. But you know, everybody, yeah. even yeah. like the smallest characters. characters on there became your they favorite people. Like, angry you see, man. Man, you see, man, you sit your ass down. Ass Hey, hey, this is Jerry. This is Jerry. I don't hey. need no damn tuna. Yeah. Hey, the way she stuck up there. The what lady? I ain't no drunk. Drink. I'm on medication. She's that <laughs> hippie. <laughs> yeah, we start doing the butterfly. You know, that's the one that said, look, hell, sometimes I don't even brush my teeth. <laughs> hey, hey man. Yo, you know what? Martin, I don't think people even realize this, but I put this, it's a sitcom, mm -hmm. but it's actually a sketch yep. show disguised as a sitcom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What you mean? All them care it's a sketch comedy show. There's not a scene on there where they leave any shit. Like, they going for the funny and the jokes. Martin might play a character at the beginning that has nothing to do with the right, rest right, of the right. episode. Yep. It might just be a character that pop in and it's just a vehicle mm -hmm. for this character. Mm -hmm. uh, what you call it? Tracy Morgan might pop in this bitch. Bruh mm -hmm. Man might pop mm -hmm. in this bitch. Like, even the other motherfuckers, <clears throat> Buddy with the fucked up hair at the mm -hmm. barbershop. Mm -hmm. Little dog! Yeah. Became a character, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, it's, like, it's me! Little Nipsey dog! Had own, and Nipsey had his own. Nipsey had his own little joints in there, man. That shit is crazy, man. one man. of my favorite episodes of Martin is when, uh, Jerome and Cole was arguing over Pam. Oh, Pam. Man. When oh, they was yeah. like, oh, man. Get your yeah. thick ass. When they was about to fight in the end of the Hey, what about the other nigga who's uh, Fifth Day Car? I got another song you want to hear. Oh, yeah. yeah uh, don't, you know no oh, yeah. don't you know no good. Don't you know no good. That Tommy Hearns episode, though. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, my yeah. God. All time fame. That was. Come on, man. Martin CD player. He Martin. sat on that couch? Yeah. <laughs> Martin Hill yeah. is crazy. Martin Martin is just, Hill. just that show, man. Oh, that's nigga, the greatest. you remember Frank White Bob yeah, from accounting? White Bob from accounting, yeah. <laughs> this party's out of control. Jesus is out of control. This whole party's out of control. He was only on a few episodes, yeah. That's a classic Maya, character. They are all them different characters, but they all you all respect them as their own and right. character. Yeah. Right. Yeah, they became they're their, their own yeah. thing. Shanae right. and Shanae. Right. 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 Oldest yeah. is his oldest. Oldest. Roscoe is Roscoe. Dragonfly Jones. His mom is his mama. Dragonfly Jones is Dragonfly Jones. Get in line, King Paul. Beef. What? Like all Get these different line. dudes that he uh, played. Yeah. Like it would definitely be mine. It's if you really. could go any sitcom, what would you pick? To be? Hey, it's hard to say anything after that. But uh, let's see, any sitcom? I don't know. Well, any why. show? It don't have to be a sitcom. I don't know why, but this is just the shit I used to watch with my mom and like my little brother. Reruns, goddamn Night Court. That was my <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> I love Night Court. What? They remaking Night Court? Hey, hey, Night just, Court, fuck with me, man. Let me get on there. I just thought about another one, bro. If I could have been on any show, but nigga, me and my mom used to watch this shit. Favorite supermarket sweet. Yeah. My nigga, yeah, yeah. I wanted to be on Supermarket yeah. Sweet. So I'm mad. grown right now, and I still wanted some of them hams that was wrapped up <laughs> yeah. in gold. Come on, man. Yeah. You better love them. I know them honey big hams. It's on, the, it's on the Game Show Network. It's oh, yeah, they all those. So you yeah. mean it's still coming? They making new ones? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm, hey, get him. Leslie or, was hosting that me, show. Yeah. Oh, I want to yeah, go on Leslie Supermarket Sweet. Leslie Jones was hosting yeah. it. Man. When you hear the sound of the beat, you're on Supermarket Sweet. Yeah. Then they had oh, another what? one in the mall. What was that one? Uh, Shop till you drop? I think oh, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, but what about this? If you were a kid, you remember this shit? That show is hor Those shows are horrible for poor people. <laughs> Very bad. Like, you like, like, oh, Y'all yeah, remember the KB toy run? Like, porn. You could win that oh, bitch. KB toys. Yeah. Was, yeah. Let you was, 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 was I born? No, probably not. You okay. might not have been, but all it was was you ran through the store. I can you tell y'all having like a little '80s moment right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh. real '80s. That's real '80s. Was born in the '80s. This yeah. when they still had Toy Store, and yeah. you could get everything that you could fit in the goddamn car in a minute. Do you know what guts is? I, I know what the Flintstones are. I mean, but you ain't never seen the show Guts that came on Nickelodeon when I you see were... Andy Griffin. Bro, they had this <laughs> one show when Nintendo <laughs> was popular. That's all you want. I it used to come, come on in the morning. Well, time. motherfuckers used to play Nintendo games, and like you would have to just play all these Nintendo games and try to like beat the game. Mm. And then it's like if you got to a certain point, they had like this big ass shit 
just full of Nintendo tapes and you can just run through there for like 30 seconds, as many as you could grab, you could keep. And then they would judge you on like, your score would be based off what games you got. And if you got a certain score, you could keep all the games. That's yeah, crazy. Right. Yeah, all them shows. Devil Dare, Guts, Legends of the Hidden Temple. Well, as a well, young I was about to say, what that on Nickelodeon? Yeah. yeah. Let, like, yeah. Bro, you yeah. are there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. 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 See, there you go. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. All right, now, now we're going to get out of here. Come on, 93. Yeah. 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 Come on. Oh, man, now that you think about that show, Dare, it's like, that's a pity ass show. What, that show? Because they at the whole show is no, like they, they ask two teams questions. Yeah. And if you don't know the answer, you can just dare the other team to answer it. And if they don't know the answer, they can double dare you to answer it. So if you don't know the answer, it's fine. You can just take the physical challenge. Right. But, but you like you a lot of motherfuckers went on there and didn't know shit. It was like physical challenge. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ain't <laughs> hey, yeah. dead nobody. Right. Physical yeah. challenge. Just to go crawl through the slime and see if you can yeah, find the flag. Slime. <laughs> it don't be fun about that third time. They be moving different. That first, that first one they was going hard. About that third one. <laughs> <laughs> See, I wouldn't even want to be on a comedy show. I would want to be on some dramatic shit that's in season 44 right now. Like all my yeah, children. Like some shit like that. I would be on Law, Law and Order. 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 That's that one, really. Yeah, man. I want to be on one of them things that came on on like season nine. <laughs> I done grew up and everything. I done got in the rest of the season where I went to jail. Now I'm a detective and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I was a trouble man. kid. I done grew up in front of these well, folks. Right, they, 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 I was a one. I New York on the cover. We got there. Because you know what? They just take all them cases from real, the real life. Yeah, it'd be funny. Because they had the cases. Like, I remember they did remember an episode of the R. Kelly case. I was like, oh, they yeah. terrible as fuck. They did the Rihanna, Chris Brown shit. I was they like, did that one. They did Michael Jackson. They did Michael Jackson too? Yeah. I ain't seen the Michael Jackson. It was the white guy. That's crazy. He's supposed to be famous. With all the kids. Yeah. Movie producer. That's the name of the episode. Right. Oh, I saw the Chris Brown Rihanna one. Yeah, though. that shit was. They got to start letting addictive. niggas like us on some of these shows, bro. But yeah. I think they don't be knowing we want to be on them. We know now. We yeah, do. Yeah. We watch it. We love it. What? Oh, I'm about to try to get on some science fiction shit. Oh, that's, that's what I like with, shit. man. They don't put me on no A5 shit. I'm, I'm on a new Star Wars shit. I'm I would love to be on the fucking X-Files. X-Files. I hate that, that shit. I'm scared of the X-Files. Cut that shit off. Cut that shit off. I ain't fuck with the X-Files shit. I think they fucked around and had a nick. It was the last time I watched F5. If you watched F5, you remember this. They they came on, and it was it was a dude in the bathroom. So he was using the bathroom, but somebody was like on his little, on like a little a little wheel, not like a wheelchair, but some shit, like a, like a little dolly type. But the nigga ain't had no legs. And he came in on the nigga in the bathroom and killed the nigga in the bathroom. Man, I cut this shit off. The nigga with no legs <laughs> came in and killed the nigga who was standing there pissing in the bathroom. <laughs> I yeah. cut the shit off. X-Files I said, man, this shit too much for me. The, the show that used to scare the shit out of me was Unsolved Mysteries. Oh, yeah, man. that music was unsolved. unsolved. That nigga voice could get you going. That nigga yeah. voice, yeah. man. Unsolved and why was he coming out all that fog? It was foggy to the motherfucker on that set. Oh, okay. Unsolved Mysteries. Unsolved Mysteries. How old were you when you figured out that wasn't actual footage from the shit? That man, was I thought weird everybody that. did what the fuck they were showing. If you have any information leading up to the capture, John. Whitfield. <laughs> <laughs> Last seen in the Nevada area. Oh, yeah, shit. I can't watch those. Even now, like those shows. Well, right now, oh, I still can watch road. all unsolved missions, all cold Let's cases. Let's go watch some of this shit from that's the 80s. Real. You be on the road and. <laughs> they be showing pictures of real yourself. dead bodies on TV. No, I know. I can't. People always think this the 80s, but the early 90s was when <laughs> oh, TV dude. was really on some, some wild ass nut shit. Yeah. yeah. Every horror movie had a fucking sitcom or like a, a show for it. Mm-hmm. Remember the Freddy Krueger series? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They, they had, had Freddy a, looking crazy on that mm-hmm. motherfucker. Nigga, they just had a cold case file. Jason had a TV series. You know, another show that used to, I couldn't watch Swamp Thing. Nigga. That was a good ass show. You missed some shit. I, I could watch Swamp, Swamp Thing. Swamp Thing wasn't even about the monster. This nigga was a scientist who had an experiment going wrong. Fucked around and ran to the swamp. The swamp, the shit, whatever the shit was that got on him, the swamp shit got on him, made him a super strong ass nigga, but he still was a genius though. Yeah. That's the cold part about I Swamp Thing. Because even while he was Swamp Thing, motherfuckers used to come out there and ask him for formulas and shit like that, and he would like come up out the swamp and help people. And he oh, was yeah. the whole swamp. Right. Yeah. And his whole shit was he was trying to figure out a way to reverse being Swamp Thing. Oh. 
man. I couldn't watch right, that. Right, because he ended up turning into being swamped. I couldn't swamp watch that shit. That's a good ass movie. The Fly. Yeah, when he that, turned into that ass fly. Oh, 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 bro. bro. Oh. Yeah, As a bro. Kid, he started like, falling apart, bro. Before the even transformation, just every fingernail yeah. fall off. That was disgusting. That was, was a cool. nasty ass movie. Then teeth fall out. Yeah. You like, ugh. Then your skin start ripped. What? Man, we gotta wrap this shit yeah. up. We'll be here all night. <laughs> we been. Yeah, I just started no, all this I shit. Just up into a whole boy. A whole thing. Yeah. See, what you get? You started it. Nah. What you supposed to be here? And you got them. Yeah. You know what it is. I appreciate it because I'm, I'm just being myself. Like I'm not trying to match your. I just I love watching you talk. This one right here. <laughs> this one right here. That's my. That's you my people right we there, talk boy. Big shit, man. Big Who, big me? shit. Yeah, yeah. Me and Ida had plenty of moments where we was like, what the fuck is they doing on <laughs> they yeah, I, they this shit is like, I know Carlos ain't fucking with this shit. So. Yeah, it was, it was. But look, look where we are now. Right, I'm about exactly to ask you what, what you got we, coming up next. What we aspire to <laughs> be. People always want to know what you're what you about to do, even though you did a whole bunch of stuff already. What you got going? So it's funny because I always talk about how I, I'm not big on Atlanta because of my past trauma here. But um, I booked a movie today that's shooting in Atlanta. Yeah! So I'll be back in a couple of weeks. And I'm doing a show out here with um, some of the some of the greatest women in comedy that I respect. We're doing okay. a show here at um, the beginning of April. But, <laughs> oh wow, I appreciate that. This feels so good. And um, so I'm writing a book that for, I got a book deal. And oh, my shit. That was before. Oh, you was already working on it. Yeah, nice. I got it. Um, and you know, I don't really celebrate my wins. I kind of keep them to myself, but I appreciate it. Girl, you have to learn to celebrate them. Yeah. 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 You got shit. more good news than a motherfucker. Yeah, and I have an animated series that I'm working on. I ain't clapping no more. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. Hey, 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 hey. They called me out. They, said they told me I wasn't going to do Shaq. I was told I would never get a special. I was told I, so everything that I've done, I was told that I couldn't do. Now they treated you like so, the teachers treat your rappers oh, back absolutely. in the day. Absolutely. absolutely. When I was, uh, they. They know who they are. The Look at them. The Shaq thing, they always say, oh, ain't no, ain't, they not about to put no Puerto Rican woman on Shaq. Yes, they are. They did. Yeah. <laughs> that was the no, loudest shit. Yeah. So, Pop your shit. I appreciate it. Man, don't forget about us when you blow up in, in uh, you blew up Spain. Yo. But I'm about, saying, you about to I be. I have so many cars, I need to get old, uh, you got to, the, the old keychains. So they all got cars. Well, I ain't gonna I, care. They all got the same keys. Mm -hmm. We don't even know who Pine Park is. You gotta go to the bank to get one. No, I'm telling you, the car was <laughs> sold at originally with that sticker. That came with the original purchase of the car. You already blew up. Watch what's about to happen. Now, you about to blow up again. You gonna be on fucking Narcos or some shit as the <laughs> new fucking Griselda Blanco or some shit. That's a, I, that's my dream is to. I and love then they gonna be like, bro, why she on the show? I'm like, bro, she is out of here. She out of here. She yeah. is playing J Lo's sister back. in the fucking I like the TV drama series. Stuff better than the comedy. Yeah. For real, I know. Yeah, because comedians, shit it's easy. All, because we have our own voice in comedy, so they try to plug us in comedy, and right. it's like, hey, do this, and it's corny. Right. But dramatic stuff, Shit's most fun. of us can do it because our comedy is rooted in drama. Right. Yeah. Like, Dan Cook is a really good dramatic actor. He's very good. Really? I'm still trying to do some work with Lou Diamond Phillips. Word. <laughs> young girl. That, and you know Emilio Estevez. I don't like that. Sound like young girl. <laughs> that you know Charlie one. Sheen's real name ain't Charlie Sheen? Mm-mm. I saw a book what they had that they used to have with the celebrities real supposed to be real names. And Did you know Mexican. Chuck Norris' first name is Carlos? His name is Carlos Norris? Damn. And Charlie Sheen is half Mexican. Yeah. So that's why uh, Martin Sheen, so they changed. That's why yeah, that's Emilio, Emilio Estevez, Estevez his brother. brother. Uh, yeah, he kept his last name and the other one changed. Oh, the Estevez. It. It's a bunch of Latin people who changed their names so that they could be seem white. Uh, well, I'm one. Shit. I'm one. I ain't know that boy we got I'm Mexican. I changed my name from that black when you see me. I'm white. My name from that black when you see me. I'm white. My name from that black when you see me. I'm white. Well, 
What Drop you your mean? social media so they can follow you. Uh, funny Ida, A I D A. I don't read comments and I don't battle rap with bitter balls on the internet. So don't, waste your time. Don't, waste, don't waste your time. That's, a boy, no. That's the truth, though. I don't don't waste your time. It's a lot of people doing paragraphs, doing the little yeah, Kermit thing. Didn't read it. Uh -uh. I see more <laughs> yeah. than three words and I'm like, yeah, fuck it's a lot. life is too short. Yeah. How you funny, Ida? Uh huh. It's A I D A. -I -D -A. It's not Ada, The it's funniest Ida. video on your page is your cousin pulling up with the machete. <laughs> that, with the what? Oh, oh yeah, hell yeah. That video is so funny. That's like everybody got a cousin like that. That um, ain't even my cousin. That's just a Mississippi cousin. Like, <laughs> when you have some smoke in Mississippi and your cousin pull up. Oh, baby. You have to see. Get that machete. Yeah. Hell yeah. Come up, brother, girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. That's the funniest, yo. Hey, shout out to King Salve. If you don't know King Salve, there's a nigga on there. Look, he cut. He be yeah. saying that shit all the time on Instagram. <laughs> we got to get him on here. He funny. Him. Couple more motherfuckers. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Make Thank sure you watch thing. Fighting Words it's on, streaming on HBO. Yeah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. 85 South Show, Ida Rodriguez. We out this bitch. Yeah. Oh, the ugly twins.